And we're up. Okay, so up. let's adjust this a little bit. And I know I said we're going to start at about 7 o'clock, so hopefully you guys are early. If not, it's you guys seven. can rewind it. It's about 7, right? Yeah, about. Close enough. My my fault, everybody. It's 7 right? somewhere. Yeah, about exactly. About. Now you don't have to worry. You just got me. Now you got what? the boy. You're going to lose the beauty. That's yeah, okay. At least nobody's wearing shorts tonight. Ha! <laughs> If yeah, you get excited by one of us, I there's something dreadfully something. wrong with you. I forgot something. <laughs> uh, okay. Jealous over <laughs> All right, so uh, we've got our little DBA 3.0 learning session here. Uh, my name's Tony Aguilar. You've known us from the videos, and Mitch Harbach is also here. We got Scott here over <laughs> on this side. That's me. And we got pink. Our mystery player mystery is player, Larry, Mr. Brazington. Larry Brazington. He's an experienced war gamer, but he's new to DBA. He's right. played other versions of it, yes. of Ancients, but uh, this is going to be kind of his first time. first time doing this. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll show you guys a, a game from the beginning. So uh, today, the matchup that we decided to do on the first one is we've got Larry will be playing Book 2, 49, Marion Romans. And Scott has decided to take the knee with the uh, <laughs> two eleven, the Gauls. Gauls are a very challenging army to play, so um, not in your favor, Scott. But uh, I don't want to discourage Larry from his first game. <laughs> it's what it is. What it, is. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm okay. beaten by the best. Okay, so um, we're going to start. If Don was here, I'd just throw a fort out and I'd win. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> no rivers for the first game. Okay. Yeah, no okay. Keep, keep it simple. I keep it simple. I keep keep it simple. simple. Okay. So, um, normally the the set of, the original rules were made for a twenty four by twenty four inch board. That's what we're going to play with this first game. We play with the twenty fours and the thirties as well. Okay. And normally, what we do is the attacker gets to pick the board size. That's kind of our own rule, so that we get familiar with both sizes. So we're going to go with a twenty four inch board for the first time. The first thing you're going to do is. If you look at your book, I know you didn't bring your book. You don't need to bring your book. Mm -hmm. But each army has an aggression number, okay? The Marian Romans are aggression, three. And the Gauls are a? Three. Are a three as well. And both are arable. And both are arable. Okay, so you guys dice off. You'll need a die. Larry will need a die. Grab a die out of the box. Hopefully one that will show up good on the camera. Oh. There That'll you go. Work. Red versus white. Okay, so you dice off. <laughs> and you, it's a tie. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so again, could be one of those nine. Games. Okay, so. so Scott rolled higher, so he gets to be the attacker. So what does that mean? I mean, the... that means you get to place terrain. You get to pick your terrains, place it, and then he'll get to pick where he comes in on. Sure. That means okay? I'm, I'm invading your land. You are, so we'll yes. get the out. So we have uh, all <laughs> these nice done up cards for you. Yeah, this is a Don Harding special here. Okay, so, your yeah, arable terrain type. The terrain type is based on uh, what your army, both of them happen to be arable, which most of the armies are arable, okay? And you're forced to have, you have to have, two one, you have to have normally one or two of the items in this category and two or three of the items in this category. What's a VUA? Built up area. Okay. You're not going to be using that, yeah, right. okay? This is your first game. So you're going to pick two plow. Okay. Hey, we're going to tell you how to play, Larry. <laughs> no, we don't want it to be oh, super to complicated. One, Elizabeth, you, I'm coming. A built-up area, that can be like a little town or anything like yeah, that. Okay, so. so this is plow terrain. Okay, mm -hmm. let's give them a road. Okay. A road to nowhere. Okay, and then um, let's put, uh, how about a woods? You got a woods this small? Okay, and uh, sorry, we're not letting you pick. You just don't know what you're doing. <laughs> nah, you don't know what you're doing just yet. What? And um, you that's, don't want a lot of terrain, that's so that's probably good for him, right? That's, yeah, it's the bare minimum. That's it's the bare good. minimum. Okay, not you knowing, guys are good fighting in the open. Not knowing what I'm doing, always working. Okay. Yeah. So the thing about DBA that's that's unique about it is every army is broken down into twelve elements. What those elements are depends on what the army is, and what's supposed to represent is kind of what percentage of the army is of a certain different type. Sure. So if we take if we take the, the Marian Romans here, for instance, okay? You take the Marian Romans, I see if I can get somewhere where I'm not blocking the view. Okay, you have one stand that's the general and all the other elements, okay? So you've got a cavalry general, okay? Think of it as kind of like medium horse, 
two other cavalry. These these are no options, right? This is what nope, he's going to play true. with. That's okay. the army. Okay, so you got a cavalry general, mm -hmm. two cavalry. You've got five blades, two auxilia, and two saloi. Okay. okay. So the first thing you have to understand is weird about DBA is there's no even though these guys are skirmishers. They don't fight at a distance, so they'll never, they, they basically have to fight into combat, okay? So that's one thing that was really difficult for me to understand is I'd have the Saloy stand and it might have bows on it. They're not shooting at a distance. Does anybody shoot at a distance? Yes, but nobody in this army and nobody in his army as well. That's one of the things that keeps it kind of simple, okay? Um, they're basically a loose formation. If you think about it in the old set, in the old DBA 2.2, the the scale of the game was one figure is one figure represents about two hundred and fifty men. Mm -hmm. So when you start thinking of this is like a thousand guys, right. then you understand what you're moving things around. You're moving things around like if you were a patent, mm -hmm. well, an ancient patent, mm -hmm. you know that kind of a thing. You're moving over like a, a whole army. So, All right. um, okay, so this is basically your troop type. So what exactly do does it represent? Okay, so um, these guys are skirmishers. These are like your medium infantry. This is your heavy infantry. And these are your medium cavalry, okay? And the way the combat ends up working is, is you'll have, you, every unit has two numbers. One versus mounted elements and one versus foot elements. Mm -hmm. And you're going to compare the numbers, roll a die, and add it to the number. And if you outscore the other guy, generally you push him back. And if you double the other guy, generally you kill him, okay? There's exceptions where that does not happen. For example, heavy infantry, if they double skirmishers they don't kill the skirmishers they, they just can't catch up to them but that's really the exception most troop types when you double them they're dead uh -huh. okay uh and there's some other options where you just if you get outscored by a certain type like if the heavy infantry gets out outscored by say a warband the heavy infantry dies okay so um we'll explain what those things are so uh basically each unit has two uh numbers one versus infantry one versus mounted uh, one versus foot, one versus mounted. The the, the skirmisher, the saloy, are two against both. Okay, they're plus two for each one of the items. Okay, the auxilia is plus three, three. versus both of the items. Okay, the heavy infantry is plus five versus foot, and plus three versus mounted. Okay, the cavalry is plus three versus both. The general element adds one. To that number so he's a four four that's basically your army they have different maneuvering types mm -hmm. or what have you now the objective of the game and we'll go into what scott's army consists of as well because this is going to kind of give you an idea of why you want to set up guys where what advantages you have the objective of the game is to kill four should we call them four points yeah i guess it's four like, points i don't know exactly what it's called the in there but it's four like four points so it could be four points could be four elements mm -hmm. It could be a camp in three. It could be the general, which is worth normally one plus the general two and two other guys. It could be any combination. So you don't want to sacrifice the skirmishers because this is half of your points right there. Right. You know, so it's not like other systems that like maybe have like key units. Like you don't care if you lose these guys and these got so much. Everybody counts the same. Okay. Sure. Um... There's no casualties per se in it because from your vantage point as the commander, all you know is, are my guys okay? Did they advance forward? And where is the fight taking place? So you're never marking casualties or anything like that. Okay? One of the WRG systems is that way. They're all that way? No, there was one. That was there was one? Way. Okay. Okay, so that's the Marian Romans. And these are like the Julius Caesar time period Romans. Right. Okay? All right, so let's look at Scott's guys. So I got a cab general, and I got four cab. I have one sea loy, and then I have six solid warband. And the solid comes into play when it comes time to be pushed around by other units. Okay. Now we'll one into that one thing hands. is all cavalry is the same. It doesn't matter whether it's Roman or. Syrian Muslim cavalry if, if it's a considered caval a cavalry unit they all fight the same so these guys fight exactly the same way your your guys do all right okay um, the Saloy is the same as yours warband is a unit you don't have 
Warband is plus three versus foot and plus two versus mounted. And they, they can back another guy up. So if you put one warband behind another one, like this, not like this. You have, this, this game is very particular about how alignment is. It's one of the things many people I don't, that in your... one of the things many people don't like. So here you don't get anything. Here he gives him a plus one. So he becomes a four versus foot. Mm -hmm. Versus mounted, he doesn't do anything else. Okay? Um, the other the other game that this so that's kind of unique is you only have to kill about a third of the army. It's not like half dead or fight to the death. That's kind of unique. Yeah. Pips is the other thing that's unique is you want to keep your guys together so that you keep moving in groups because you don't know how many moves you're going to get per turn. Of course, you don't know what your opponent's going to get as well. Okay, so that is, that's another uh, objective that's kind of unique. Um, and, um, well, we'll get into the other stuff as, as it comes along. Yeah. I'm sure we'll leave something off. That was one of the things that I wanted to do a live session because if we film this, with all the things, we're going to leave something out. I mean, yeah. you know, we've well, Mitch and I have played. Yeah. We're, we're on the cusp of we're two games short of playing 800 games together. Is that all? That's it. That's it. Damn. Yeah. And I'm like maybe 80 games short of 2,000. But that's of all versions, you know. And new stuff still comes up. So this game is definitely has a, a lot. It's a very basic looking game, but it has a lot of depth and a lot of. We've enjoyed it for many many years. So, okay. So the first thing you have to do is when you have these terrains. You have to place. You what's going to happen is is you're going to you have to roll to see what quarter it goes in. You know you notice there's little markers here. Yes, I okay. Do. This is quarter one. That's two. That's three. That's four. And depending on what the terrain is, there's it has to stay in this quarter. And you have to place all of your compulsories to make sure that they get in play before you place any optionals, because as a general rule, right. they cannot be within a base width, which is that's also the frontage. Of another terrain piece, mm -hmm. with the exception yeah, would be the road. Right. Okay, million, so uh, it's 40. forty. It's forty mil. Okay, and uh, all the units, of course, have what they call now threat zone. But for us experienced war gamers, it's zone of control. Zone of control. So when e everybody extends a zone of control, which is a forty by forty section, you got one here in front of each unit. Okay, and once you end, once that really. It locks things down and you're kind of limited in what your options are when you enter that zone okay right. and this is also the distance you can't be from the terrain so you basically are, are align your your terrains that you've picked or that we picked for you you're still going to get to roll it's it's all on you now from that, okay right. so um you pick one of the plows and good. then you're going to roll to see what quarter it goes in now plow is different because plow has to has to go into one other quarter so it actually has to be in two. It has to go in one other quarter, a smaller portion. So okay. that would be quarter so one. So what I'm saying is if you roll three, this is quarter three. You can't do just a tiny little bit in three. Now you could do the opposite, a tiny little bit in four. Okay. Next. The other plow? Six. Six. Okay, so five, five is you would get there and play it wherever you want. Six is he gets to pick the quarter. You'll still get to place it, but your opponent gets to pick the quarter, quarter one. Okay, and what does it have to do? Just being two areas plow. It has to overlap. You got to overlap this line here, and you can't overlap more than one, so it can't be in this zone. A little more, there you and go. you got to be within forty of the edge. You got to leave, got to leave a rim around it. Okay, go. that's legal placement. You always, you always want to place a road if you can. Listen up, folks. You've watched this in a video. Okay? Oh, we want to place a road. And we'll explain to Larry here in a second why. That, this person will disagree with that. <laughs> you just like to bait people. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he does. Okay. So, um, you, you want to leave this for last, okay? So, place the... Uh, you're going to roll for the for the woods, okay? Four. Those four is over It's there. in here. And this one has to be all the way inside of it. Now, you... I'll tell you right now, you don't want to put it towards the center. Oh, no, hell no. I want to okay? get it over here. You want to get it kind of off. Off to the end. Yeah. Get away from it. Have you played with Romans before? Yes. Romans are his favorite, favorite are they? army. Yes. Oh, good. The other the other skirmish games we play, what was the one we played? Saga and uh, uh, SBQR. SBQR. He's Roman, Roman, Roman. So, Roman, he, he, it's your lucky day. We got some Romans for you today. Ta -da. Okay. Ta -da 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 -da. Okay. Now you'll get to roll for the road. Now, the way the road is, you'll roll the same. 
it can go through another terrain type. And okay, so three, and it just has to enter this, this one. So it can go this way, it can go this way. Now, what does the road do? When you put a road down, he's gonna get to pick whatever side he wants to come in on, unless there's a road. If there's a road, he has to pick one of those two sides. So you eliminate his choices. So which way does it go? Bingo. So it's got it's got to enter here. It's got to enter. It's got to be in this zone somewhere. It doesn't mean so. It's got to it's got to go basically from here that way, or it's got to be it's got to end end or start yeah, somewhere like in there. Yep. Except you got to go like this. It's got to start. It's got to start or end inside the three. Right. right. So okay. It can do that if you want. Yeah. Is that what you want. Okay. Sure. Okay. Why not? Okay, now Scott's got to pick either here or that side. One or the other. I shall go with this side. So I got we got one question here, and we'll try to answer some questions as it happens. Uh, hey, Les, over in the UK. Uh, Robert Sweeney asked, I believe, Robert, you're up in Michigan or something like that? Um, the terrain size 24 versus 30. The attacker chooses before placement of terrain. Absolutely. So um, the, you, you're you going to roll for aggression, find out who the aggressor is, and at that point, they'll decide what size board they're going to play. And from that point... Now, that's our house rule. We've, we've used it pretty successfully, and that just allows us to be familiar with both sizes. So it... I don't know if I've mentioned this before in one of the videos. It's a lot easier to play on a 24, be used to a 24... And then go to a tournament where they want to play a larger size than the other way around. If you're used to playing on a 30 and they throw a 24 on you, you feel like you're getting screwed. Um, it's difficult to, 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 to work within the confines there. So um, I encourage people to use both sides. So both sizes. So These are, these are um, things that have been made up by Don again to help with the initial setup of the game. Yeah, this is just to, to, make the the game, setup, to, to make the game rules. process a little quicker. So the way it is is... The way these things set up is they are, and these are available on the Facebook page if you guys want to get these the, in, the, in the download section of both DBA uh, Facebook pages, the DBA uh, site and also the DBA and Hot site. Okay, so your setup area is normally from this corner here to the back and across and down here. This, so this zone here. Now there's certain units that can set up in this zone and, these, and here they're listed. Light Horse, Cavalry, Camelry, your auxilia, Saloy, mounted infantry. Okay, mounted infantry is a weird element. It doesn't trip yeah, very often. Yeah. So basically, if you wanted to set up as close as you wanted to each other, this basically keeps you six base widths from each other. That's what okay. this distance is. It's three here and three there. Okay, right. but the first thing you're going to do is you're as the defender, uh, Larry. You're going to place your camp. Okay, yeah. your camp gets placed against your base edge. Okay. And it's got to be in your normal setup area because it's not one of these troop types. It's can't not one of those there. troop types, so you can't set up there. This is as far out as you can go, this line right it's here. It's not a light horse or a cavalry or a camel or an auxiliary. Mm -hmm. or so there you go. So there's, there's your camp. Now, Scott will do the same thing. Okay, now you will set up your entire force. Where? Here? Okay, well, remember, you got your sea loy, your two sea loy, your two ox, and your, and your uh, cavalry, Okay. So all those units can set up from here to here. Your heavy foot, your blades, can only set up between these two lines. So it's your choice how you want to do it. How far up? Up to this point right here. So you, basically there's an imaginary line running. Do these get the benefit of a second rank? No. 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 So you no. can get, so basically like that line runs there, so you can deploy it all the way up to that line basically if you want. Exactly. Across there. This, basically look at this as the area you can't set up. Make sense? Yeah. And then that line extends. Oh, sorry. So. Then that line extends down this it's way. Already so. me low, I yeah. did. Now, the rest of your elements mm -hmm. can all set up anywhere. Well, no one can ever set up in this zone here, but they can set up because they're they're cavalry and they're also Saloy. And we're well, just going to let you set up how you want, mm -hmm. and then the we're going to. I'm going to point out some things you may not want to do. All right. Okay, and and why. You can still do them, though. Yeah. Okay. Well, for starters, you want to be like this. Okay? All right. That's right. Because, because if given the option, you want to be able to move forward. All right. Okay? If you can. 
Okay. Um, so th yeah, there's no advantage to being half off somebody, not at this point. Okay. If you're going to do this, you don't ever want to be three deep because if the front guy gets contacted. Okay. Now, if you want to do something similar to that, do that. Because he can still he can still move exactly he can still move forward. Right. Okay, the Saloy over here is good because they like fighting in this zone. That's mm -hmm. good. These where's the other one here? Yep. These pieces of plow. What's going to happen is he's going to set up his entire does force. It move does it that corner? Stay yeah, down? it counts because he lines up yeah. exactly. The, the pace of the game is you're going to set up. Yeah. You're going to say, "Hey, I'm ready." He then catch, he'll right? set up. If he's he can be then right you'll here. go first. And it's still okay. When you roll your okay. first pip roll, if you do not roll on a one, okay, these plows are gone and it's open terrain. So All it's right. not likely to be there. There's a plowed field, but oh, it is I'll only a one, one in six I'll chance. One. Have some, uh, are you good with that setup? Yeah. Not There's nothing much. particularly wrong with that. Nope. Okay. Not at all. All right. So Scott will do the same thing. Now we're supposed to be playing. Six, uh, welcome, six minutes in. Welcome all you on time people. Yeah. <laughs> we got started a little early, but yeah. you know, you can just rewind later. We're expecting frost, so. <laughs> uh, well, it's a cold day in Florida. Yeah, crazy. For you. Yeah, I'm freezing. Weather's great. He's wearing Free a Green Bay issue. Packard shirt. Yeah, exactly. Great. Right? See? He got kicked out of there because he was a weenie. Yeah, Couldn't handle the cold. So. Oh, you can't handle the cold? Get out of here. All right, bye. <laughs> That's one of the three days of the year I can wear long sleeves and not be sweating. Yeah. Oh, man. So now terrain really isn't an issue here, but you also want to stay within eight of the other units, okay? You're fine. Now, if you're moving as a group and they're all moving together, as long as the closest part is within eight, you're okay. But if you want independent movement, you're okay here. You start moving farther away out of here, then this might be an issue for guys on the other extreme. All right. Remember, warbands can't go out there. Oh, that's right. You're a main battle unit. He's got kind of, they got clothes on them. They can't make yeah. calls. Yeah. And they're naked. Let me naked. <laughs> okay, so we got another question. Is there an advantage other than being able to close with the enemy quicker to setting up as far forward as you can? Um, depends on, I always find out. I think it depends on what your idea is. If you want to close fast, you want to do this. But if you think the other side has an advantage on you, sometimes you might want to stay offline. And, uh, Some people hated the new 3.0 because they said, oh, the forces are, are too close together. Well, you can set up to there. It yeah. doesn't mean you have to. Right. So I think the game can be more interesting if you don't set up on the on the line. But it just depends. I've done both. Yep. You've done both. I've done both. Yeah. If, if I'm not 100%, if I think the other guy's got a really good army and it's advantage over me, I might set back and hope that he moves wrong and take advantage of it. Okay, so let's... Um, so, are you good with your setup? Yep. Okay, so he's got his general here. Mm -hmm. He's got the cavalry guys there, and here, these guys are warband. Okay. Okay. So, you have the first bound. So, I roll the die? Roll the die. Okay. A two. Tell them about plowed fields. They no longer work there. They're still there, but they just don't have any effect on play. We choose to remove them because... It makes it a lot easier, especially right. if you're a new player. Fields don't have anything in, so they don't affect movement. Okay. Right. If you rolled okay. one, they would have stayed on. Okay, so two. What can you do with a two? That allows you to move two pips worth of units. Okay? Right now, you're in one group, believe it or not. These guys yes, are attached to this one. So you can move everybody forward. But if you do, you have to move at the speed of the slowest element. Which now, is? movement speeds. Let's talk about that. We know what the combats are. You may not remember, but we went through them. These guys move three base widths, okay? The Saloy and the Augs... And, oh, nope. They're Only the Because they're solid auxilia. Only the The Saloy move three. The Cavalry can move four. And all of the other foot move two. Sounds like what okay. I move. I just move all two. Yeah. So 
So the Romans move forward. Moving forward. Is that what Romans do, Larry? Yes. Okay. Right. They uh, generally don't fight defensively. Uh, the Romans were very uh, aggressive, definitely. All that cost one. And All if right. you wanted to, now, the Saloy on the first turn could move. Could move again, two. but. Cost an extra tip. Uh, here you don't want to advance the Saloy in here because they're going to get eaten by them. You're going to try to bait them and see if they do something. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. Now you still have another pip. All right. Well, what, what are my options? Well, to not have moved this guy with them and then move them to a more central location if you wanted to, or just burn it. I, I don't think you need to spend it. All right. Do you feel like you need to spend it? No. Okay. You might want to cover command distance with him before you go. I do. Yeah. yeah. He's okay. He's okay. He's with him. Well, I can. Uh, maybe I so command distance is. Maybe I should have left you back there and moved him towards the center. Or move him somewhere where he's not attached. But you don't know what you're doing. So this is a new guy. He just he's he's a new he's a senator's son, right? And he gets command <laughs> of a Roman son, army, right? and we'll see if what we'll see what happens. All right. You know? Something clapus. Okay. So something what? Something, something clapus. <laughs> oh, I was thinking uh, flaccus. Flaccus. Mm -hmm. Clapus. Flatulence. Okay. All right. All right. So. Uh, you're done? Yeah. Okay, it's Scott's bound. A six. Naturally. Naturally. At this point in time, it doesn't do a whole lot, though. Remember, Especially with this horns army. of the buffalo. Oh, wait, no, not that one. So, <laughs> different army. Road is a different thing. We'll probably cover it in something different. If you road right now, for, because it's at an angle, mm -hmm. you could get like a free move if you start on it and finish it, but you're limited. You have to move as far as you, you can. It doesn't really benefit you at all. Um, it would just, it's a good thing to put something like an elephant or something on it and it happens to be going the right way, you know, but, um, if you were to use the road movement, it would just, um, you don't want to show up in, in his face with, uh, only one element. No. No. You're showing up with everybody. Right. So if you're moving one element by itself, it, as long as you move the front corners to where they are, you're good. If you're do if you're moving multiple, you have to do a wheel and, and so forth. Mm -hmm. So the other thing they change in DBA 3.0 is if you have uh, if you have a unit that's faster on the outside of the wheel, like if you were going to do this type of a wheel, they're still limited by moving their speed, even though they could technically cover more territory. They've changed that. So if you have a wheel that involves slow units, they're going to move, you're going to move at the slow unit speed. All right. Okay, so from here to here, move for one pip as a group. This guy was behind, use a single pip to move up there. This guy was here, use a single pip to move there, so that's one, two, three. Then this horse that was here moved over there, which is four, and this horse moved up there, which is five. Leave me one pip left that I'm not going to use. Okay, burn it. Wow, all these guys with extra pips. So if you had shooting elements, what would work is it. you you move, you do shooting. You mean we left the artillery train? Or if you had bows, okay. Yeah. You would I'm shoot, then you would do combat. <laughs> then it would be the other guys bound, okay? So there's no shooting. That's one thing to like to say in our videos. Okay, you're shooting, even though we know we don't have any shooting. Just to get in the habit of it. All right. So it's your bound, Larry. My bound. Yep. All right. Whopping four. Hmm. So they can move again as a group. Yep. Or if you want to move anybody in a different direction, you have extra tips to do anything. Uh, it's going to move the head and back. Okay. Headstrong in towards the center. Keep messing around. That's one. Okay. A wandering threat zone. Yep. Nothing wrong there. Let's see. I got how far this guy move? Four? You can go four. Yep. No. Um, now you want to keep a space between you and the other guy behind yeah. you. Right. Because what will happen is, is these guys go into combat. Mm -hmm. 
you don't want this guy tied down. So maybe even something like that this. That would be two. That would be two. You know, go ahead and put that down to show him how far he wants to stay back behind that guy. You want to stay out? That's a Zach zone. You mean a threat zone? Yeah. Threat zone. Well, Zach zone. I don't care what you guys think. I call it Zach. <laughs> <laughs> it's threatening. So We've said it half the time wrong yeah. on our videos. So these guys can collide. Yes, you can run in there if you wish. Let's see what happens. Alone? Or wait for the infantry? Well, I don't know. I'd wait for the infantry. You would. You're I right. would. You would. Okay, well, then. Right yeah. On. Flakes um, have exposed. Now, this guy's got no business being up there. Okay. Because he can get picked off. So keep in mind, too, right now, wait, all wait. the infantry moved. Well, here's what you could do. This guy could move with them. All right. So that could be one. Yes, he moved here. for himself by two. This guy moved for himself by three. three. You got so one you do left. have one left if you want to. He's okay being here. He's just facing the equivalent so three unit. Three or two. He's he moves three. three. Yep. So he would be next though. All right. There you go. You used all your pips. And... Okay. Any shooting? I didn't think so. Of course. <laughs> We're throwing pylons. <laughs> okay. Scott's up. The Gauls. Yeah, in this game, javelins and pylons don't. I don't do anything. It's figured in. Yeah. <laughs> Three. All right. So, here's one. Still one. Still one. Does the aggressor in the turn get uh, any pluses or minuses? Only that they can pick just this. Pick the flow of the. Uh, Let's see combat. if pick we can get pick away with stuff. doing this. We can. Okay. And what is it we're getting away with? Some zoomification here. Zoomification? Yeah. So that is one of my three. Mm -hmm. This is going to be. Two of my three. You have one left. So you can move in any direction? Yes, because in that area there's other little formations that cavalry's in. It's that scale of a game, you know. That could be 750 horsemen. You know, they're... No, that it is... only looks like 740 to me. That is three. No loop tonight. What? <laughs> well, he just said no loop. That's fine. We got we got plenty of people here. Actually, <clears throat> I'm just going to do that. No. Well, you're not gonna you might, you might be fine. wishing he did that after his uh, blades cut their heck their way through. If it happens, it happens. <laughs> Okay. Uh, if I was proficient with my um, what the thing, I, the thing I got for Christmas <laughs> that I'm not proficient with that I'm having issues with. Uh, well, it's that's gimbal. It. Gimbal. I would have run the gimbal. So do I have any shooting? No, I have no shooting. Right. So now we're gonna go to to close combat. Now okay. since I am the active or bounding player, is what they call it. I would uh, what I get to do is I get to choose which fight I want to fight first. He has so this, to fight in, them all. In this game, it's every base fights its own battle. Right. Okay. Um, there is some where you get to add on, but we'll get to that when we get to it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start right down here on this end. Actually, no, we'll start here where it's, we'll just start here where we're base simple, and then we'll go from there. Okay. So we're going to start this end right here. Put this battle first. Okay. Um, so what you want to do is look at your Seloy on that chart there. Okay. And you'll see it's got the two narrow. So what's its value versus foot? It's two. two. Yeah. So I have the same. Seloy is a Seloy is a Seloy. doesn't matter mm -hmm. who it is. So we're both at And the two. chart we're using is from the Society of Ancients. This is available online. This is a really good uh, reference sheet that's, that's available there. Really so clear. That's our combat factor. So what we're both going to do is we're going to roll a D6 and we're going to add plus two to our die roll. And then we'll figure out what happens after. And you want to double each other. Four. All right, so you got a four. I have a three. Okay. okay. So with Seloy, since they're fighting each other, the, the different troops fighting different troops will have different effects. But since it's Seloy fighting each other, you beat me, but you didn't double me. So what I have to do is recoil, which and is move back a base his own with depth. a bit like that. And you some units pursue. Yeah, some units don't. have to pursue. Seloy don't. 
and they won't, so you just stay there. Okay? And most right. units don't pursue. Units that would pursue would be blades versus foot, warband versus other foot, knights, elephants. Knights versus that kind anybody. Of, knights versus anybody. Those type of things. Elephants okay. versus anybody. All right. So now we're going to go to this one. Okay. So you are a blade. So what's your value versus foot? Which blade is it? Solid? Yep. Your solid blade. This one? No. That's I'm a, sorry. That's, that's auxiliary. auxiliary. That's, I that's auxiliary. That's an auxiliary. Auxiliary. Solid is three. Three. Yep. Now I'm a warband. I'm a three versus foot. So right now we're three each, okay? However, you have this unit right over here who is front corner to front corner to me with nobody in front of them. So what that does, it provides an overlap, which means I get a negative one for every overlap you mm -hmm. have. So instead of a three, I'm a two. So you're going to roll your dice, add three, and roll my dice, add two. <laughs> All right, so you have, you have a one plus four. three is a four. I have a six plus two is an eight. So I have doubled you, mm -hmm. so that means I have destroyed that unit. I beat them up bad enough where they ran away and mm -hmm. can't fight left. Larry, do you normally roll poorly? Yes. Okay. All right. I just wanted to just make sure that was the case. That's By the what, way, that's what we call this, it. That's what we call this. Ever since I taught Frank how to uh, war game. Yeah, he took all your he took, he took all, all your mojo. Okay. That's all right, what we so, call the six one split in this game. Yeah. All right. So okay. since, and I noticed Mitch did that very well against. See, you. it happens. Happen. Yeah, no, you what? actually roll worse than I do, Mitch. Yeah. Now we have three to three plus. It's close, but. Oh, yeah. So Warband <laughs> is one of those units that's going to pursue or have to pursue if they win. Chase, yeah. So uh, even though you're destroyed, I still have to move forward my base whip. So no, I still 20. Have, or 20. 20. Half a base so whip. I yeah. do that right there. Okay. Yep. Okay. So now we go to this one. Mm -hmm. So that is a blade. So what's the blade's uh, attack blade? that? Oh. Blade. The blade. solid blade. Five. Five. I'm a war band, so I'm three. So it's five three. However, I do have this is still considered an overlap because I'm touching on the side. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna be at negative one. So you're gonna be at four, I'm gonna be at three. Okay. Eight. So eight to two plus three is five. You didn't double me, but you beat me. So I go. You can go your base with. You'll fall back your base with. I go back and then you and have to will follow because pursue. you're they yeah, yeah. impetuous or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I call it being impetuous, but right. it's it's pursuit is what it's called. So now I'm gonna now I could decide to go down to one. No, if he had outscored you, Larry, you would have exploded. I know. Okay, so you did. That's terrible. <laughs> I should I have said you rolled poorly more often, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna so now I'm gonna go down and do this battle instead. All right. So we're gonna start here. Okay. So this is a cab, and you have a cab there. What's cab versus mounted? Three. Three. Yep. I'm same thing. So I'm plus three. Versus your plus three. However, I have one overlap because there's no I'm corner to corner nothing. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna be negative one. So you're gonna be two to your die roll. I'm gonna add three to my die roll. Eight. Eight to six. So you beat me but didn't double me. So I have to fall back. And they're cavalry. Now, you do not have to. You do not have to follow me up. You. You do not have a choice. Yeah. He doesn't have a choice. There. He doesn't. Right. Only knights and elephants. Okay. So now we'll go to this one. Where I'm of cavalry versus your cavalry again. Mm -hmm. So cavalry versus mounted is what? Three to three. three. Three to three. However, now you have the overlap because you're front corner, front corner. I don't have anybody in there. So you're going to be at plus three. I'm going to be at plus two. Eight. Eight to eight. So since it's equal, mm -hmm. what happens if we just sit there? We basically just pound on each other. Or nothing. Yeah, like now, there's some situations and some matchups. Because that's the one thing that's unique about this game is you've got the factors. All games have factors. Yes. But then there's a the rock, paper, scissors stuff mixed in. Mm -hmm. That's what makes the game kind of odd. There's some combinations that if you tie, it's bad for one side or the other. In this situation, it doesn't really matter. Elephants. <laughs> so now we'll go to auxiliary. <laughs> we'll go to this one here. Yep. So auxiliary three. is a three. I'm a war band, which is three versus foot. So it's three to three. Boy, your auxiliary don't want to fail. Yeah, like, you got a four, four to seven, so you need to drop. I didn't double you because you're a four to seven, so they just fall back like that, and then I have them. to follow up. Yep. Da, 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 da. We're going to fire them. Good boy, that is getting Christmas. They were taught by the other auxiliary. So now we'll go ahead and do this one <laughs> where I am a three. It's because they're Italian yeah. allies, that's why. You're going to go down one because I have one guy on your side doing one lap, so you're a four, I'm a three. Oh, wow. wow, okay. Uh -oh. yeah. If Luke was here, this would be a game. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Where's Luke when you need him to make a game out of it? 
Okay, so you have a one plus four is five, mm -hmm. and I have a five plus three is eight. I didn't double you. Mm -hmm. However, Warband auto kill blades if they beat him. Okay. So all I have to do is beat you, which means this guy all right. now goes away as well. And once again, I have to follow up. Yep. 20. No, you're right there. Because he fell back 20. Right. So yep. you're even with him. Yep. Um, We're now, mm -hmm. Go ahead. So now I'm going to go here with my general, who's a cav. So I start at three versus foot. I get plus one because I'm a general. makes me a four. You're a blade versus mounted. <laughs> That's a three. Three. You're going to go down one because you have an overlap. So you're a two. So I'm a four. You're a two. So you got an eight. eight. And I got an eight, which means we push. So nope. we sit there. Uh -oh. No. Oh, oh you're solid. You're, you're solid. solid foot. You're Cap solid. So I have, to, recoil from I have to back foot. up. They don't follow against mounted. mounted. Though. And you can look that stuff up. It's, it's on here, you know. Um, this is if I'm a Florida graduate, yeah. I can't read. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that'll work. Get the stick. It wasn't off. required back then, right? <laughs> no. Yeah. So now we'll go to this one. Just play baseball. Right here, uh, you're right. a solid blade versus foot, so you're a what? Five. Five. I'm a three versus foot. However, I go down one because you got a flank, so it's your five versus my two. Okay. So you got an eleven uh -huh. versus my eight, which is not a double. So I go back. He recalls 15 and you advance. And you advance. Now here. You should be corner to corner with that guy there. Yep. So here, and you, when you go to the melee fight, you have to always fight every combat. You don't have a choice not to. You can hop all over the place, though. Mm -hmm. So here, uh, your blade versus foot is what? Five to four. Five. Five. So my I'm a warband versus foot to three. Mm -hmm. I'm down one because of this overlap to a two. I'm down one versus this overlap to a one. So you're plus five, I'm plus one. So you're a five and you're a one. So you got an eight. eight? I you got a six. So you pull it off. I managed not to get doubled, which means I back up and you come forward. And that is the end of my bound slash turn. Oh, okay, so the score is Romans are down two, two and the Gauls are down Zero. Zero. Nothing. Okay. So now your turn. You get to roll your pips. Yeah, four pips. Okay. Now let's look at once guys you can't move because they're locked down. Those guys right there. Those guys are this guy as well. He's in the threat zone here. Mm -hmm. So when you're in the threat zone, the only thing you can do is I don't think I can move anyone. Move into combat or move straight back. He's, he's movable. Yep. He's That's movable. Right. You have two movable people. Mm-hmm. Remember, like I said, he can move forward in a combat. So you could do this to help provide a overlap no, there do, again yeah. if you that. wanted to. Because mm -hmm. you, you can you have to move forward or back with him only. Either out of the Zoc or closer to him, but you don't have to go all the way to him. Okay. I don't think you want to put the general in the fight, do you? You could. I know you could. Because the other thing is you can leave this guy sit here. Mm -hmm. You can bring your general over to fight these guys, and they'll provide an overlap against how them. Far, how far is he? He can move four. Yeah, so he would get there. So that's one. That's yep. One. That's a winner. And then the question is, do you push him forward to get a minus one here, but you lose it there, or do you keep it there? I keep I'd it keep there. him there, I don't, I don't honestly. General. Now here you got a problem because... You can't move forward. Well, you He's could move back. straight back, which starting to sound pretty good. I think so. Because you need three, to get away from... You can go up to three. You can go up to three. Get away from that cavalry. Because that cavalry, if they just outscore the Saloy, mm -hmm. they pick up. Assuming the Saloy's in, ah, in good going. Yeah, that's There's a, two. There's two. Mm, move these clowns out of the way so they don't kill. Can move three, they can move four. up to three. three. I fall on the head. Ah, size matters. Don't care what they say. <laughs> well, it matters to Mitch anyway. Well, size matters. Yeah, that's what God said. It matters to God. <laughs> uh, we'll start with this one since I have one over on him. Okay, we got no shooting. Yeah, I've shot, I shot and missed. Uh -huh. Okay. I rolled a one. Okay. So, yeah, so you pick any battle you want to start with. We'll start here. All right, so that's your cab so that's three, versus three mounted. Plus. Yep, so then I'm going to go down one to a two because you got the one overlap on and me. And you're also down one. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, because you're also down for this one. So we're even up. Yep, two, two, two. two. Five. Two, four. So I have to do that. Okay. All right. Hmm. This one? 
Okay. So you're a cab versus foot, which is... I believe it's three. Isn't it? Yeah, three. Yep. Yeah. You're a general, so you get you an automatic plus four. one, puts you a four. I'm a warband versus mounted, which is two. Yep. I go down one because of that, puts me at one, so it's your four to my one. You just have to double them. Six. <laughs> Six. We push. No, nope. I'm nope. solid. Yep. So you recoil, Larry. So that's the difference between no. a solid. Now I'm going to have a choice to either recoil their base depth or 40. In this situation, it doesn't matter, but you could have a force that's combination of mounted troops with uh, with um, yeah, pretty good. with chariots, and you would you'd want to recoil 40 so you can stay okay. in some cohesion together. Here. Over there. All right. So you're a blade. Which is, and by the way, this is just for you guys watching. If you're exactly at forty to the front, you are still in the threat zone. So you can't re you can't get kicked out of the threat zone. Right. So you're five to my three. Eight. Eight. Okay. Lock. So, Nothing happens. So we're both solid foot on that one. So neither one of us pushes. We just right. sit. Is this one? Five to three again. Ten. To my four, so you just doubled me, so I die, or disperse, go away, and, the and then you have well. to go twenty forward. Yep. Yeah, hey, you win. Crowd goes well. That ah, it's over. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you are a five to my two because you have the one overlap. Eleven. Wow. And I have a three, so you whacked him, and he goes there. Okay, now it's a game. So now it's two and to two. I think that's the only one that has it. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. So Our here's no auxiliary. Is three. Three. Okay. Three versus four. Foot. Three versus three. I'm going to go down to two because of that, but you're going to go down to two because of that. So it's two to two. Two to two. Six. Versus seven. So you're going to recoil twenty, which is his base width. Base width. And, then and you're going, going to go, go up two. La, 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 la. Mm -hmm. I guess that's it. All right. So now I roll my this guy he's, he's, he's right he's, there. He moved, he moved but he's, uh, he's, yeah, there you go. Okay. One thing we didn't we didn't cover, yeah. we would have stopped you from doing this. You don't ever want to be at a weird angle to the guy in front of you. All right. Because if he gets recalled and you can't push the guy back, you, the guy in the front dies. So okay. we wouldn't have let you do that. That's just, that's killed by your own you guys. You got my dice. Yeah, that turned what out happened? good. I rolled a one. Well, he's going to make a game out of it. That's good. He's channeling Luke. Luke doesn't always roll bad. Just most of the time. Okay. Yeah, he's not a great tower roller. <laughs> we have combat here. Mm -hmm. You're a five. I'm sorry, I have no shooting because I don't. Not exactly. Five, three. That's, That's a three. Over. I was there. Yep. You're there for three. I'm a three, but I go down to two because of that overlap. So you're a three. Mm -hmm. I'm a two. Five. Five to eight, which is going to push you back. You're six. So, you're six, actually. Five, six. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. it's going to put you like so right there, and then I'm going to move up because I have to. Okay. And then we got one here where you're a five versus my two. Six. I got a chance. I got a chance. Yeah, five or six. No. 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 So I'm a three versus your six. I die. And then he meets their buddies. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So actually, right, right now, yes. yes. Two to three. That's a thing. Okay. So it's not and your it's your bound. Okay, so this is where you want to, like, get one kill and close the deal. One kill and close the deal. You have plenty of options. How can I turn these guys around? You just turn them Well, they move real slow. They move too. They get so good here. You always, so, like, what you would do is you would measure the farthest, like, so mm -hmm. this point here could get to that point. So you literally could right. flip that around to there if you want to. Well, I'm... well let's see here. This is this is a two. Mm -hmm. yep. We can just get him out of the way. Mm -hmm. We know where he is, so we got to measure that corner. Has to go here, right? Yep. Show him where you're trying. To, this is what you're trying to do. Yeah, yeah. This this corner show, has to go here. Show him where you want him to. Okay. And then this corner has to go here. That's no problem. You can do that. Okay. That's one. So okay. as soon as the first guy hits him, he turns at that point, right? No. You got to wait till everybody? Yeah. Not, not until okay. the end. Is yep. it possible to get end. anyone else there? Yes. You well, can sidestep a guy. You can do right. this guy This guy to there. Once mm -hmm. again, would be able to flip around if you want. Now, you get you get him, You give the guy a minus one as long mm -hmm. as it's a front edge or a side edge. Okay. If you do this, if something, you can't do this. But if you were, if it happened, that, that guy doesn't give anything because it's not a fighting edge. I just want to get him on there. Yep. You yep. can even do something like that. So that's two. Okay, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. 
Doesn't have to be lined up with that guy. That's two. Okay. To move another guy here. This guy could get up here. Can they? A three. Moves a three. Yeah, yeah, but he's it's only two away. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh that's three. Yep. And then we could pig pile on this one, I guess. Mm -hmm. So the general will be he's already there, isn't he? Mm -hmm. That's the cavalry turn around. They make it. Uh, they're zocked by these guys, so they can, so move they can, straight let, back. They can go. You can go straight back. Just to, like you could do okay. this, just yeah. to line them up if you yeah. wanted yep. to. Yeah, yeah, you want to do that. Line. That gives them another minus one. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So one left. left. One left. I don't know. Move them back to be in group with him okay. in case in case you don't get those kills. All right. We'll go here. All right. Okay. Now after all the movement, around. he's going to turn to face. Of course. Now, he won't turn to face if he's already facing somebody. So, in other words, you can't throw the Saloy in the front and then this guy behind because he'll never face. You'll end up finding the Saloy and this guy will give him the sure. minus one, which is not what you want to do. So, so Okay, a, Larry. I have a five. You have a five. I have a three, but I'm down two because it overlaps to a one. Okay, five to one. Big money. I got a three. You got a ten. He's dead. Okay. okay. And he'll advance over. there. You got, and you have to finish all the combats. All right. Okay, because one, one right, I've got three, and I'll be a one because I start at three, but I'm down two for one for each overlap. Six, six, two, seven. So I actually you need him back, and I follow up. Okay, at the end of the turn, you have four, I only have two. You have what you need to win, so game's over. You win. Okay, congratulations. There you go, right, right for our side. <laughs> there you go. That's a basic DBA. There, you go. there it is. Now, how long would that take? Not very long. Uh, three weeks. <laughs> About 40 minutes or less. Did you have fun? Yeah, let's... Are we going to do another one? Yeah, unless you hate the game. <laughs> no, I didn't hate the game. No, I can do it. I mean, the people that are watching here... I mean, assuming there's anybody watching. Well, is there anybody watching? They can all go to Come sleep. On. Well, the UK people, it's it's really late over there. But, yeah, I, uh, I play in the Blood Bowl League, and about half the players are in the UK. And I, I said, well, I can play... In, Seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time, U.S. That's one in the morning. <laughs> All right, it's not my problem. Oh well. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna do another one. We got another one uh, lined up, um, and the other classic matchup is the Romans versus Carthage. Okay. Carthage is one of those armies that new players always want to play, and I discourage new players from Why playing Carthage. That? Why do they want to play them? Um. I think it's human nature to want to play the underdog, and everybody knows who Hannibal is. And the He's thing about not, Hannibal is... Hannibal's not an underdog. No, no. Hannibal <laughs> made the army. The army didn't make Hannibal. Yeah, correct. Okay? <clears throat> so, uh... That's like the army of Northern Virginia without Lee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me ask, answer a couple questions. Robert, ask... Uh, risking the general here... Counts double and cost the battle. No, not anymore. It's he costs an additional element. Oh, so, they got pachyderm. Um, Hot dog. It's not double. It's just an additional element. So, he's, if you kill him alone, he's two of the elements up to meet oh, yeah. of the the four that you need to have. So I did my game. You're up. Uh, <laughs> All right, okay. Max, jump in there, buddy. So we need to. I can only handle so much of Larry in uh, three Only days. so much? No, oh, that's right. Oh. Sure. Okay, well, there, here's where we ask the question. Larry, would you like to play the Romans or the Carthaginians? Oh, what's that? You'd like to play the Romans. Okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was kind of like Scott. You want to play Conan or you want to play Conan? <laughs> well, I gave you a choice. I gave you a choice. You did. You did. You Do you want to play the Carthaginians? No, I'll play the Romans. Okay, all right. All the elephants ought to be fun. Yeah, who wants to play with the baby killers? Yeah. Sacrifice their own people. Ta-da. Okay, take that so I don't walk in front of the camera. You go. So I'm playing the it's not, not like I'm not wearing pants, but so you know. using a different army. Uh, which which book is that? Or book two thirty three. Polybians. You don't have them out. You pulled them out, didn't you? No, I didn't. Okay, yeah, so this will be a time for the people watching. They can go to the bathroom. Yeah, go to the bathroom. So I'm playing the cards of Genius? You're not playing. No, no, you're playing Why? the Romans. Oh, you got the Romans over there. He doesn't have them yet. Ah. Oh, you need this, Chief. This. 
Oh, you're not going to use the right Romans because those are should prettier? I, should, I, should I use the... Uh, those are yeah, use the right figures. Oh, they're, they're the wrong figures. Yeah, I'll do that. They're right in here. Let's see, elephantes. <clears throat> yeah, so elephants are impetuous. Elephants are... Plus five versus foot, four versus mounted. What happens if they get pushed back? They go nuts? If they don't, you do not want to stack up behind an elephant because they'll run you over and kill your own. <laughs> the buttocks of death. Yes. It will just flat out run over your guys. And they'll kill each other too. They also cost an additional pip to move. In any group that they're in. So. Oh, that would be great with an Indian army. It's great when we're moving. We're moving. It's great with an Indian army. We have three elephants, and the first seven pip rolls you roll are all ones. <laughs> yep, I've been there. The first time I played Indians, that happened. Mm -hmm. So. Been there, done that. This is a fun game. Should we start again? <laughs> so you've got combat rolls and you got pip rolls. I find it a lot more frustrating to have bad pip rolls. The combat is just the dice, but. Mm -hmm. Getting out maneuvered, it's like, um, I know you what you're doing. Uh, if my guys would just freaking listen, you know, you can't save pips. So what? if you keep getting ones, you can't save them every other turn and move your elements that cost two, an additional one to move. They, they just sit there and, you know, graze. So it's it can be frustrating. But, you know, that's the one thing about the pips is your opponent also has to deal with it as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the pips represent the fog of war. And it's one of those things. You're, it's one of the fun things about the game is you're never guaranteed to be able to do everything you want, mm -hmm. and it can always happen at the most inopportune time, which could swing the whole battle on you. Yes, yes. For them, Kev. Still using the wrong Romans? You need me to help you out there? All oh, those other guys, huh? Oh, they're over here. Then. Actually, Hold on. No, they're right here, dude. Um, Hold on. No, other box. Yeah. That's these ugly old guys. Oh. Watch it. Not yeah. you. Nobody painted you. I was <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> What? what the blue die came off oh god so there's one thing in combat last game we didn't get into where it's i'll kind of show you here on this one we had this right here right mm -hmm. and then we had the overlap which is a negative one another thing you can do in this game is what's called close the door where you put a, a unit which is front corner to the front corner along the side like this yes it okay. still provides a overlap negative Yep. However, and then another on, in this situation, mm -hmm. no matter what's going on, if you outscore yeah. there you go. That's this nice. guy here, he, he goes yeah. away automatically. Alright. Is that you close the door and he can't get away he can't get away. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing in combat you didn't see last the last game that okay. can happen. There we go with your camp. Ding. What? Another Romanish camp. I think the worst edition, I think, was uh, the Mary G5. <clears throat> they had a strategic mark, so, mark, so if you had guys on the, on the edge here, and there was a hole right here, there you go. Didn't like that, huh? No. That was before my time. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, probably was. Yeah. So, their aggression three air bolt, and... No, no, hold on. Before you do that, you have to pick up what forces you're going to use. Because guess, yeah, you don't have all of those Carthaginian no, forces. No, no, yeah. So, um, so we're going to go good. over this. This is kind of neat. So see. most people like to go with the... Uh, with two elephants? Two elephants. I'm only going to go with, with one. With one, right. So, and I'm going to... And truth be told, if, so, if I was forced to use the Carthaginians, <clears throat> I would use no elephants. And they have the option. But we want to see elephants in action. Either yeah. going with two warband or two yeah, solid. Yeah, I tell you, I'm gonna go with the warband. Okay. And drop off. So you got Those a sign. And this is book two thirty two. No, yeah, book two thirty two. Later Carthaginians. Mm -hmm. So. And we will now sing. Your aggression three, 
and he'll be aggression four. What? Yep. And he's the Toro. One, two, three, four, five. Which means he can navel land. Which is an so, oddity, but it is what it is. Okay. So show us what you got there, Mitch. So I'm going with the Cav General. Okay. A Cav. Okay. An Elephant. Okay. A Light Horse. Okay. Four Solid Spear. One Solid Ox. You mean three Solid Spear? Yes, that's what I meant. Yeah. Three Solid Spear. A solid Auxilia. Solid Auxilia. Two Solid Warband and two Slayer. Okay. So you faced these guys, Larry. You faced them before. You faced... Mm -hmm. You had one of these. Yep. Spearmen are four plus... Plus four, plus four. Okay. And uh, you looked up the elephant. The elephant is plus five versus foot. And touching against like this. They get an extra bonus. They get an extra mm -hmm. plus against other foot. Yeah. Okay. And Larry, a little different army this time. You have two spear of your own. Two spears. Huh? You have the auxili the uh, Hastati and the Principes all behave the same for the They're purposes of this blades. game. Yeah. These are all blades, yep. Two mm -hmm. Saloi, mm -hmm. two Spear, this mm -hmm. is a true REI, and, um, and the Commander and, mm -hmm. and other calf. Okay, okay so again, do we want to do the right. optional rule for the 30-inch board or just stick with this one? What would you, what would Larry like to do? You want to play how we play? Yeah, sure. Let's okay, play. so, okay, your aggression three, your aggression four. Yep. So the attacker will get to pick the terrain size. Five. Okay, it's a tie again. Oh, this red and white dice mm -hmm. like the tie. Your house. Not this time. It's it's your house. So you could, Mitch. What size board do you want to play on? I'm gonna go with the big board. You're gonna go with the big board. Well, like we'll get a big board. I like to spread it out. Okay. If they have more mounted troops. <laughs> no, we want to be small. Narrow. The bigger boards tend to be more useful for troop for armies that have faster Horses. troops. Yeah. That's why this is ruined. Because it gives them more space than the other. Okay, now we got to make room. Make room for Daddy. David Cush out in California. I've been watching this for over an hour and still don't know how to play. Well, <laughs> it's a long uphill battle. Easy game. Easy game to learn, simple to uh, difficult to master, or difficult game to learn. <laughs> difficult game to learn, difficult game to master. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a beast. <laughs> All right, so mm. your arrow again. So and between the writing style, nothing ever been to, repeated one one time, and the abstractness, two, just two plan, yeah, two not a good combination. All right, well, you have but to it's a wonderful at least game. Two out of the three, but you can go up to three. I would agree. It's it's hard to learn the game based off the way the rules are written. But once you get it, it, you got it. So there's your words. And there's a gentle hill. And you want to you want a road again, right? Sure. I always recommend the road. <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna roll. Let's see where they go. Yep. Roll and see where they go. All right. And you gotta yes. start. You gonna use that purple die? That thing rolls like crap. Three. <laughs> so. Sometimes. One, two, three. <laughs> Most of it has to be in the in in this right, area. Right. So it has to what be do you a three. Okay. So you want it like No. No, well, it has to be in two. You've got to go over, over another one. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. yeah, I mean you can go over that way. Yeah, yeah you can go in this uh, way. It doesn't four. make that much of a four. difference. It's so just a it either has to be partial in this one or this one. And keep in mind it has to be that far apart from that. Looks good. All right, uh, pick up another. The hill, all right. Two. Now, the hill is a Jenna hill. It can be like these, or it can be straight. It can be all there. in the same zone. <clears throat> Which is right there. Uh -huh. Or, or it can, or it can overlap a smaller There's portion a, if you want. Mm -hmm. If you want. Nah, I like okay. That. Now, I recommend doing the hill, hill or the woods next. Five. Five, your pick. You can, pick you can put it wherever you quarter. want, whatever quarter. It has to stay within the quarter. Jeez. Remember, you're Roman. That's true. Which means don't put it in the center. Don't put it in the center. Generally. Yeah, okay. And now we do the, the road. road. Yep. Right. Okay. Four. It's got to go through that quarter somehow. This one. Just one. Two, oh, yeah, four. this quarter. So can you go this way or this way? I can only enter one other quarter. Okay. Um, All right. I think... 
I think I'll stay on the side. Ta-da! Make that easy enough. Right? No, no, not the purple dye. Yeah. Ah. yeah. <laughs> we got rid of it. <laughs> Get the you can use a red one. That's a, that's a Roman color. Yeah, that's good, good Roman color. Good Roman color. All right, so the first thing is you put down your camp. My camp. Lord, we have a camp right here. And uh, usually you put it on the back, but we actually will. Now look what happens with your setup area. This is the same. You go to a larger board, this is the stain. Your main setup area got larger. Yeah, about like this. yeah just get it close so you don't yeah. have to. Yep. All right. Yep. So, so it's really here. Just move it up so you don't yeah. knock it off the board. Yep. And you get to deploy first. Yep. Now remember, this is only going to be in play if you roll one. If, if you roll a one. So it's not likely to be in play. Which now oh. means it will be. Absolutely. It could be. <laughs> Absolutely. We've seen all kinds of zany crap, so would not surprise me. Boy, there's a lot of uh, blankers in this line. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and they won now. I guess I could move it. These are auxiliary. No, they're blades. They're blades. That's all I have. And where'd your saw? Oh, your saloy's over oh, there. They are. Like, where'd the saloy go? Oh my. No, they love being here. Yeah. So I definitely put at least one guy there anchoring the, that flank. Um, or you know, even here, they can zip over there if you need to. Is he past the side over here? Tony with that blade. Uh, with this blade. Not anymore. He's not. There you go. Okay. There you go. How's that look? All right. Uh, not reasonable. That look okay. Now, where's your? Um, okay, you got these guys together. So when they stay together, they'll and they're fighting foot. They'll, they'll they're normally four versus foot. Mm -hmm. Having another guy exactly next to them. So if you're up a little bit, it doesn't help. If they're exactly lined up, both of the corners like that, mm -hmm. they'll they'll bump each other up to a five. Okay. Let me let me flip these two and see if they mesh a little better. Yeah, they're a little bit better this way. Meaning the shields aren't mm -hmm. locking in and keeping stuff from happening. Okay, I don't see anything wrong with what you did there, Larry. So, we don't want you doing something stupid that you know how oh, to play war games. On. You just don't know how to play this particular. I don't know how to play this one. <clears throat> or you're very inexperienced. You only, you know, you've never been, you've never been defeated playing DBA. Uh -huh. uh, well, you should quit now. Says, yeah, stop now. Stop now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a battle between you and Don Hardy would have been good. Mm -hmm. Except that, you know, we'd because still we'd weeks. still be setting up. It would take weeks. We'd still be setting up. I'd roll a one, he'd roll a one. I'd roll a two, he'd roll a two. <laughs> Don's a good guy. He just doesn't move fast. Oh, we had a guy in our old club that was like that. He could do it in 30 minutes where everybody else could do it in a minute. All right. So I got uh, my saloy here. Solid ox. Solid spear. Solid war bands. Dumbo the elephant. The leader. And Kavanaugh Life Horse. Okay, so let's talk about... You're familiar with... Uh, this didn't come into play, but we'll talk about that. You know what these guys do, or what they don't do. Hills. Don't be... It's deceptive that there's a hill there, because it's not any more difficult to move up and down it. Just if the combat happens on it, if you're uphill from the other guy, you'll get a bonus to yourself. That's basically all a hill does. And it does block line of sight. Okay? Um, this is what they call bad-going terrain, the woods. Now, what bad-going terrain is, for units that are not, that don't fight well in it, which these guys are not, it would it would give them a minus two. So if Blade were in there, they would, instead of being a, a, mi a plus five versus foot, they'd be a plus three. Okay. And they move really slow. They only move one base width. Mm -hmm. So Blades really want to stay out of that terrain. Your your Blades are nowhere near them. You got the Saloy over there. Everything's good. And this is kind of a nice anchor point because if he decides to put his mounted up against them, they can just duck in there, which explains why he's mounted on the other flank. Okay, where well, they're open. What? <laughs> exactly. 
Okay. Mm. So you have the first bounty. So you're going to roll. And you, it's a two. So you don't grow shit. We don't grow nothing. Uh, no beets in the field. Nope. Uh. Okay. And you have two pips to work with. Now, when you've got units that are in here, they normally have to move separately. So in other words, if this was any unit, this guy would have to move with a different pip than mm -hmm. these guys. However, because they're Saloy, they can actually be in a group and move together. Mm. So what will happen is, is when you get to that, do you'll I have even, to spend an extra pip to move, move them. Yeah, you'll have to spend an extra pip to move them. Yeah, do I even want to move? If you want, if you wanted to. So. Gosh, I almost wanted to come to me. Oh. So two pips. What you gonna do? I'm thinking about not moving. Oh no! You can't. Is that what a Roman would do? <laughs> Uh, no, but I probably agree. Okay, so I can see not moving here, but you have an advantage on this side. You outflank him. You've got more guys off to the side. So twos or threes? Twos. Twos, okay. Yeah, we'll keep everybody together. Oh, the Romans are going to hold hands. That's what the Romans would do. They wouldn't sit back. Holding hands. Well, until they got their ass kicked so many times by <laughs> Hannibal, and they're like, oh, maybe we need to try something different. <laughs> I mean, the guys that lived would say that. Ah. Oh. Both of them. <laughs> That's one. Okay. Uh, can they move? They, they can, can move, move together, one. actually. Uh, I don't want to get them too far. I'll lose one. Yep. yep. All right, so they can still run back. And sure run. thing. You don't want them lined up with this guy? I guess so. Yep. You, could even, you want them lined up with the back? With the front? Oh, I didn't see it. Yep, line up with the front. Yep. Right. Yeah, that's the other thing is you can pre-measure anything in this game and it's good to like, okay, I'm going to stop just shy of the crest of the hill or be vocal about that stuff. Because when things get bumped, you know, especially how some of these players play, they like to roll things and knock guys over and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> if you were verbal, you knew where the guys, you know. All right, go for it. Okay. All right. Well, we do shooting, but there is no shooting. So, <laughs> I'm already shot. Yeah. ta -da. Wow, Hannibal's wow. fired so, up today. What's so funny, Mitch? He's fired up. Hannibal's just like, Chopping the bits, something like that. Is something funny, Mitch? Oh, always. Okay. <laughs> Except the Packers, huh? Yeah, not, not oh. so much this week. Ouch. Oh, not so much that this didn't week. Take, well, actually, it took longer than I thought it was going to take. Yeah, there, there. there you go. I'm going to move <laughs> this guy first. I wish they had shown up for the game. Yeah, it would have been, <laughs> so been so much better. better. They pay him enough. Yeah, they pay him enough. It would have been so much better. Then we could have had the United <clears throat> Chiefs against the Packers. Yeah. Uh, the Super Bowl. Bowl one. Yeah. But no. All right, that's one, two. You give me that kind of salary, I can find a way to get injured early and paint the rest of my life. Yeah. <laughs> what do you get for only showing up for one day? Yeah, you gotta make sure it's guaranteed money. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Otherwise, you don't get it all. You don't get any. You don't get any of your incentives or anything. One, two, three. Because on the first turn, it costs one to move the elephant. After this, it'll cost two to move him. Mm -hmm. Every unit cost one pip. The first bound. They figure they got some kind of a plan in place, and after that, it's sure it is. Kill Darius. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, and... And if you're out of command, mm -hmm. it'll cost an extra pip moving that unit. So if you've got a one Saloy back here you want to move, but he's on the other side of a hill or something, and you can't see him, it's going to cost two pips to move him. Four. And I'll burn the other two. Can you move a unit twice? Only these guys on the yes. first turn. Yes, in, in certain oh. conditions, okay? So yeah. first of all, the first condition is if you're within... This distance of someone. Nah, no, let me back up. Saloy can do a double move on the, first on the first bound, or any other time if the second bound, if they're in open terrain and the second bound puts them into some kind of terrain. All right. Okay. And Light Horse are the ones that are really known for doing that. They're the ones that can multi move. You still have to burn a pip every time you do it, but. Right. And your subsequent moves can't be within this distance of anyone, of any part of another unit. Not necessarily a threat zone, but that you can't, like, zip up next to somebody and then go around them kind of thing. You have right. to kind of go farther away, so. All right. Four. Four pips. Then you move obliquely. 
What's that? Obliquely. Like this. One unit at a time. Yeah, so, if, if you want to turn, you got to use the wheel effect. You got to use the wheel. So, so they just all go straight ahead then, huh? And you have to stay out of 40 inches? 40 millimeters? Oh, uh, you don't have to. I mean, you don't have sometimes to. it's nice. Well, to when you stay within things. that, you lock things down so then they can't go in a different direction. Now, remember, they, remember they, they can only move two. No, they're moving three. <laughs> yeah, cocaine hasn't been invented yet. Those guys can't take off that fast in the sand. <laughs> Okay. The only other double move that's on the board is the road movement, too. Yeah. Again, the road's not really useful in the way this the layout for this is. Because all you'd be able to do is multi-move one guy by himself, and, you know, that's suicide. I'm moving the whole line up. Okay. All right. I wanted to make sure those guys could get there. All right. No kibitzing. Okay. All right. And so if we had three. some missile And you're going to burn three. Fine. Uh, didn't you see that volley of arrows? Okay. Are we inside the red zone? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What do we? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The slingers. Didn't you see the slingers? Yeah. yeah. Swingers. 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 That's a good yeah. movie. Yeah. The slingers. There you go. Yeah. Here's a comedy. We yeah. make a movie called The Slingers and have multi. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so the Caesar's Palace and Caesar's Palace. You, you want to star in that one? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, I don't even want to be on the Scott's camera gonna crew. Be, Scott's gonna be the stunt man. Yeah. <laughs> the body double. Yeah, the body double. Okay. Mitch is bound. Oops. For those of you that are just joining us, shame on you. It's been yeah. going on for an hour. But if you are, we've got um mm -hmm. We've got Polybian Roman versus uh, later Carthaginian here. And we've got Larry Brazington, who just an uh, experienced war gamer. But, well, he's got one game under his belt. He's actually undefeated now. And yep. uh, we're kind of showing him the ropes. So. All right. I'm going to move this guy for one pit. And he's going to come in and line up like this. Mm -hmm. And he's got to be able to make the distance to that yeah, final location. Team, huh? yep. This guy... Gonna pay a separate one. I didn't want that to happen, bro. Right to there. So that's two. All you gotta do is roll, roll six. When combat comes, just roll <clears throat> six over there. You're good. That's two. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and move this guy for three. And this guy's gonna inch their way up for four. All right. That is all my tips. Now I'm going to start on this side. No, really? I'm, <laughs> sh I am shocked. It's another Packard trick. So, you start at a two, but because this guy is past your front, mm -hmm. it actually gives... Now, if this guy would be like this, he wouldn't give you a negative. So, Saloy are a special situation that if someone is even like that, this no anybody else... Well, not everybody else. Yeah. If this guy was a side cherry, he also wouldn't get it. But generally, this anyone in this position would end up giving him a minus one. Mm -hmm. So lawyer special. If they don't. Like that, you got to go a little bit like past that. him to get the minus one. Yeah. That just gives him a little bit more survivability. So. So we're gonna go. You're okay. two down to one, and I'm a two. So don't get outscored, Larry. And he did. Just like that. See, okay. So six, you are a six, and I'm a four. Okay. So I have to recoil everywhere along the front. So Romans beat, um, beat mercenaries. Up. Yeah. Okay. All right. So then we go to this one. You're a two. You're going to stay a two. Mm -hmm. I'm auxiliary. I start at three. Go down to two. Go down to one. So he's two a one. You're a two. Eight. And I'm a five. So well, You almost killed him. Damn. Recoil to there. Well, you couldn't do any better. Yeah. You did great. And it's your turn. My turn. Hail Caesar. Oh, hell yes. Uh, Caesar hadn't been invented yet. <laughs> it's a salad. <laughs> it's a salad. his family existed. <laughs> well, well, well. Huh? I don't really want to send that big dog in, but you know. here they come. Mm hmm. No, okay, he can't, he can't actually get through. So he that. can't get through. Um, okay, so that's one, right? Yeah. Now another thing you, if you absolutely want to 
bring them with that could move up and then slide as far as I could that way and then I mm -hmm. would have to conform to you. And then could he move to contact the elephant? Um, he could, but it'd be a five to a three. Yeah, it's not a very good number. What'd you roll for Pip's leg? Five? So I've got one. <clears throat> right now he's only spent one. I spent one. Okay. Well, the thing is, is you normally you've got to make the distance to the corners except to the front. You get a free slide to the front. So in other words, if you have the distance, let me make sure we've got this on camera here. You just have the distance to just barely make it to here. Mm -hmm. You can slide up to one base width only on the front contact. That's but just I don't think the second guy can make it. Yeah, the question is, can you bring a second guy here to this location? Yeah, you got it. But now your numbers would be a five to three. Yeah, so if you're going to go to the front, you definitely want to bring this guy and put him in this location. Right. But you're or mounted. He can, or you can switch with his general. Your well. general. Or put the general there. Your general's a four. I'm against mounted, I'm only a four, so that's even up. So this would be uh, another one. Yep. It's where you can go up with the same group. Can his cavalry hit that sealoy on the flank? Yes. If he moves his sealoy forward, can his cavalry go get that sealoy on the flank? Yes. Well, you got to avoid this zone of control. Yeah, got to avoid that. Can we? The problem is, is he can fit, which means you're going to end up having to drop the cavalry, right? You got a cavalry marker? Yeah, here. right there. You're going to have to drop him here, which you don't want to do. I'm not not necessarily touch him, but put him put him so he zocks him. Oh, yeah, you could probably yeah, do that. Put him back till he zocks him so he can't bring him on so the you, flight. So you want to kind of like get up to there. So you move it like this? Yeah. Just make sure you leave yourself from recoil room. Yeah. Yep. And it's great when you can lock someone down and not exactly. be locked down yourself. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you should be good. Right? Okay. Over. So that's one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. He was lined up with them, right? Right. Yep. So what you did on that move, Larry, is you zocked, you zocked, or you threat zone. Sorry, I'll go to the threat zone for yeah. everybody. Yeah. The sealer over there, so the now sealer can't come on the flank of that other unit again. Mm -hmm. They have to either go to the horse or run away. Right. So you're not going to go to the horse. You just protected, you've helped protect the flank with that. So we have four to four here, right? Oh, uh, actually, Close it'd be, one. you'd be four, you stay four. I started four, but that would knock me down to three. So I'll go there first. Go there first, all right. Four to three. Four to three. Okay, so half a lump recoils. Not get double, and he will recoil back to there. Okay, the horse has to go out. Nope, nope, they're not knights. Yep. All right. Oh, geez, that is. How about them? So you're a four plus one because he mm -hmm. makes you a five. You'll stay a five, and I'm a four plus one is a five. It's five, so it's five to five. five. Eleven. Wow. Uh, so it's eight to eleven, not double. Okay. So they spear don't back to their spear don't, spear don't are not impetuous. Off. What? Nope. Nope. No. Pike are. Yeah. Spear. So you're a five. Pike against five. foot. You'll stay a five. Mm -hmm. I start at three, and rear support against other foot makes me a four. But he's on this side brings me to three, and these on that side brings me to two. So it's a five to a two. Ooh. Ooh. Ten to six. So ten to six. Wow, the, nobody's the war band live. So they recoil. You actually back. pushed them both back. You didn't really recoil. Yeah, yeah. There's some situations where yeah. that does happen, but not there. From what you learned about it. Yes, here. Yeah. Uh, we have three combats left. Three combats. Which one? This one? Uh huh. Well, this one's pretty even out. Two to two. Four. And a seven. So I didn't double you, but I pushed you back. You can lose this. Okay. Now, because he's a Saloy, mm -hmm. this overlap doesn't matter to him. Mm -hmm. So he stays a two. Yep. And, and you're a three. I'm a three. Three to two. Four. Two of seven. So I didn't okay. W again. It's just a push. So you're even up with that guy. Exactly. Yep. One combat left. And, so uh, what are you, Larry? Yeah. That's a spear. Uh-huh. Okay, a four. You're yeah. four. You have a guy in contact with you to the side. Mm -hmm. So that bumps you up to a five. But this guy over here, overlap, mm -hmm. brings you back down to a four. He's the same boat. Yep. Four to four. four. Ah. Oh, the six one split. Oh, just getting ready to say the only way you can die is like that. <laughs> the six one. The six split. one split. And that's because it's a ten to five. I need a Benny. Okay. 
All right. And let's make sure we got the debtors on the board. Well, you won the last game, and you were you were behind. Yeah. yeah. You were behind quite a bit. That's right. You pulled it out. So the bad guys jumped. This up. is where he chokes my bad two. pip roll. Let's hope not. Yay! Hey! That's my superpower. That's what happened to me. Yeah. That, uh, All right, well, looks like Aaron Rodgers passed. Yeah, see? See, he's back. <laughs> he's back in Florida. Well, we'll just do that for one. But we're going to start to come back yeah. here. See, that's the thing with elephants is he'd have to roll at least a two to move them up. Mm-hmm. So, so <clears throat> you're five. Hold on. Is there any shooting? Uh, all done. Okay. <laughs> yes. So you're a five, but he's on your side. Drop like to a, a four. I feel like I should make a cue card, and just like put it on there. Like, is there any shooting? <laughs> and I'm a three. No. Plus one support <laughs> is a four, so it's four to four. Seven. And I'm a six. Next week. Next so week. So I did okay. not <clears throat> beat you. So I recoil to here. And you, you come forward. Come to there. Okay. So he's exactly corner to corner with him, because he's advanced fifteen twice. So one comment left. Okay. Um, you're four, but you have no support to bump you up, so you're four, but this guy's on your side, drops you to three. Okay, so you're a three. I start at four, but I have support with him against foot. Puts me to five. Five to three. Five to three. Okay. okay. And it's only a five seven to, to five. So they recoil mm-hmm. to eighteen. Mm-hmm. That's okay. it. That's it. Pips. Big money. No whammies. Three. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Where's your winner? <clears throat> Where's your big winner? Here. Are you sure? I don't know. Where would you say? Now that? keep in mind, when these guys yeah. defeat those guys, they die automatically. Right. And you're one a number higher than them. Um, so you should at least save a pip to do that. Okay. And by I mean by that is you want to move contact them like this. You want to move into contact so in that location. Can get there? Yeah. Yep. Easily. Um, yep. And you're within command. You want to go that way though. Yeah, yep. That's one. Yep. You line up on the. Uh, oh, I see. Just like that. Front corners and front corners. Yeah. Uh, crap. So that's one. Two left. Two left. Well, I can advance that line. Yep. This isn't a winner. That is or is not? Not. not. No. No. Nope. I'll try this again. Are they actually going to contact? Uh, no, because I'm off. <clears throat> because he recoiled and mm-hmm. they're farther back. So technically, right. you'll have an overlapping in on them. Right. But it, yeah. So you can advance. If you move them individually, you got two pips left to use. So if you can either, if you move everybody together, right? He was lined up with them? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. If you move everybody together we'll and you going. want to contact someone with him, then these guys won't touch the calf. All right. Because they'll be with the elephant. However. Or you can just move everybody so that they're just overlapping and providing an overlap there. Against this guy, uh, that'd be like the... it just depends on how much time you think you have. Yep. I think you got enough time. So that's now you got one, one left over. Two. Well, couldn't he just use one to move the general in, and then move the O, and then move the whole line up? Yeah, yeah, which so, is what he did. Well, no, he could no, contact no, the horses with contact. the line. Yeah. He could do that. That's yep. one there, and then move everybody up with the second one, move them all up to contact the, the contact horses. the yeah. the yeah. cavalry. That'd be it. That'd be it. So that's your three, yeah. and at the end of movement, this guy turns the face. Okay. So and missile fire's done. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> we gotta get the ballistas up. Where are they? And you get the pick. It's your uh, face right, again. Okay. So you're a three. You'll stay a three, and I'm a two. I stay a two. Okay. Come on. Five. Two and four. You kill him. Dead. So he there dies. You go. That's exactly what you wanted. Really so he's there. Okay. So one to one. What's the most alluring thing from here? Um, these two are nice for you. This one? Um, I would... Or this one. Because you got to look at, like, this guy's slightly forward, so right mm-hmm. now he's giving him a negative, but he also gives him a So, negative. in other words, you don't want to fight this one, get recalled, then you lose your minus on it. <clears throat> right. Yeah. So, you want to do this one before yeah. you do okay. that. Okay. So, so, you're a five, five. You stay a five. Mm-hmm. I'm a three plus one is four, but with him there, it makes me a three. Three to five. Okay, roll big, Larry. There you go. That's how you do it. But so did I. <laughs> but I didn't beat I gotta you. be careful what I say. Nobody doubled. So this guy from <laughs> recoil to here. Big whammy. Yeah. He pushes right. up. Big whammy. So now you've you've uh better now you got a double yeah, overlap. Double overlap mm-hmm. on him. So he's normally a four versus mounted. Mm-hmm. That guy makes him a three. Yep. Right. That guy makes him a two. 
And you're a four. Four, okay. So a big roll here. Four to two. Good number. Nine, Nine to six. six. Almost. Woo. So he recoiled. But him recoiling got rid of an overlap that this guy had. He yes. had a minus one coming to him. Yeah. So now you got a decision to make. He's normally a three versus a mounted four. Mm -hmm. And this guy is normally a three versus a three, but that makes him a two. So you want to do a three, two first or the three, four first? I did three, two. All three, right. two. All right. Larry can do math. Oh, he does. Yeah. <laughs> and you told us different, Scott. <laughs> hey, they don't hire just anybody for the county. <laughs> Particularly when they're counting the money. Stacks. I'm going to go over there. You're going to recall 40, huh? Yep, I'm going to go and 40. These guys are normally a pursuing troop type, mm -hmm. but against foot. Right. But not if they were fighting Saloy. Right. One exception. Saloy the one exception. They won't, they won't yep. like go against Saloy. All righty. So now you just even that up. So it's a four down to three, and you're a three. Three to three. Ace. Look at that. Versus the one. Oh, he just smoked them. Smoked them you just first. killed that. Is that the general? Yeah. The oh, man. Gone. Well, I guess he's not yeah. Hannibal. He's, uh... He's Hamilcar. Yeah, he's, or somebody. He's Chop Suey, you know? Right. <laughs> Chop Suey. Right. So, That's Mitch, it. what does that do to your movement for the rest of the game? Well, now, any time with uh, commands, it has to pay extra pip. It's like being out of command. So, so everything, everything costs, costs an, an pip, additional right? pip, which means everybody so costs two. Two, three. three. Yes, yeah, they, they cost two. Wow! Three. Wow! Three. That yeah. up now. Uh, wow! A mathematician. Freaking <laughs> management right there. Okay, so this right now is a score of one. One to two. Three. 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 Two. One away. Whose bound is it? It's, it's uh, the baby killers. What's love? Rollo, Mitch. Come on, we need B. Yeah! Oh, I can't move anybody. I'm on a roll. <laughs> no one can move. That's so that's no one can move. No one can move. Now, if there was guys that were still locked in combat, like they are, are, that combat will still happen. Yes. Okay. So. There's not going to be an effects because nobody's overlapping. Mm -hmm. So you're a five, you'll stay a five. And I'm a three plus one is four, four to five. Wow. Nice. Seven. So, uh, no, get, get right. yeah. Seven to five. The, the, blood, the blood runs deep in the hardballs. Yeah, wow. <laughs> they better call Brett Farmer. Yeah. <laughs> you need some help. So that's my turn, your turn. Ooh, okay. Five. All right. Now you only need one kill. You only need one you kill. You need to figure kill. out how to get one kill. Jeez. It's not going to be here. No. Okay. Could it be here? It yep. could be there. Exactly. That's okay. one. That's going to cost two two pips. Right yeah, you don't even have to. Here? No. Front corner, nope, the front other corner. Way. You got to do front corner, front so corner. He, he goes like You this. got plenty of movement. He goes like this. You need to get to that position. He goes right. like that. Yep. Yeah. That's, That's the like... quirky thing about this game. Should I send the other guy in? Yep. Well. No. No. Yeah, you don't have to. So that's one. It, because it, if you move him forward, then the combat will be you're a two yeah. and he's a one. Right now, he's a you're a three and he's a two. Yeah. And if you outscore him, he's dead. So, so. one of these guys? Yeah, nothing wrong moving them forward. All right, two? Yep. Yeah, oh yeah, easily. No, that's, one. Yep. that's one pip. Still that's one. still one pip. Now, you're actually touching this guy. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. The only reason you can even move into that position mm -hmm. is because you're providing an overlap here. Right. If there, if this guy wasn't here, you wouldn't be able to move in that into that position because so it's, it's an illegal right. contact. Right. But you're so providing an overlap. Do we send that? I don't know if I want to send my general on or not. How many you got left? Well, He's got three left. Three left. So if nothing else, put your general beside your blade to give him a here? a su yeah. side support. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Up, up even with them. Yeah, like right that. You're, yep. you're not fighting the elephant, but you're at least giving them, you're giving them the... You got one left over? Yeah. You got two left, two left, left over. Uh, run your spearman back. To yep. Yep, no reason. Straight back to so he can't get in a fight. and get. Now, once you're locked down by the zone of control, you can't move laterally anything until, mm -hmm. yep. you, until you get out of it, and then you, you have to do that in a different bound. That's probably it. So he's going to turn to face. Turn. All movements done. Turn to face. Mm -hmm. And your pick on combat. So there's three of them. So again, you're three. Mm -hmm. I'm a two. Eight. Two of six. And dead. Dead. But we got to finish. Yep. Okay. Yeah, because there's times you're where you're ahead and you end up losing. Yeah. yeah. That probably won't happen yeah. in this battle, but uh, 
So uh, you're three. We're gonna stay at three. Three, two, one. Seven. So you're seven, and I'm a seven, but you're solid. Solid foot. Mounted recoils. Off mounted. Okay. So you're a five. Five. Gonna stay at five. I'm a four or a three, four, three. Three to five. And it doesn't double, but it does drive you push him. And he mm -hmm. follows up. That's it. That's it. And you weigh again. That's uh, it. Hey. Man. That's how you do it, Larry. That's right. Okay. Now you're double undefeated. You should double just up now. now. I'm giving up now. Yeah, I lost my first five games before I played this game. DBA. Not hard to do. Not, yeah. not hard to do. <laughs> not hard to do. All right. So, this is... Um, this is about what happens normally. It's an uphill battle for the Carthaginians yeah. normally. Yeah. Much more than the Gauls. The Gauls versus the other Romans is actually more balanced than, mm -hmm. than this one. Han it's This guy was not Hannibal. He was... Um, hair cut, hair dresser. Something. He was somebody, yeah. He was... Uh, <laughs> he, I think he was a hair braider. Hair is what he was. Yeah, it. he's from North Africa, so yeah. he was a hair braider. Yeah. Um, but anyhow, uh, what do we got here? Maybe... You Here's Robert Sweeney from Michigan. Maybe you should have used the purple dye to roll for pips <laughs> after all, Mitch. <laughs> there you go. I think I should have just stopped telling you what to roll. You yeah. listen too well. It's not Tony's fault. Yeah, yeah it, it is. is. Tell me what to Tony's roll. Fault. Yeah. <laughs> it is. So, two games in an hour and... Well, I like that part. And I want to have well. That's why this is really good for a tournament. Yeah. You can sit down. And the other thing that's great about this game is you play with your own troops. Well, those of us that have troops, but you go and you buy one army. You get to use your army. Mm -hmm. You're relatively close to the figures, so you can see the detail, that kind of right. stuff. If you play somebody who's not as much fun as us three, ah, ah. let's just put it that way. Okay, thanks, Tony. You're only. I, pay, I, play, pay the... I appreciate you making. Yeah, no, you're fun to play with. I'm just saying. <laughs> I just want to say, if you're playing against someone who's an asshole, okay, you only have to deal with them for, and it doesn't happen very often. Mm -hmm. You have to deal. You only have to deal with just them for 50 the minutes. Just flip the table and concede. Yeah, you can't yeah, do that as well. But yeah, you I could do that. Not flip the table. What I'm saying, if, or if you're in a situation where the whole game you're behind and, and you're fighting an army that's not a good matchup for the one you brought, you don't have to be. You're not tortured for four hours. You know, it's over in 50 minutes, so you can move then on to something else. That. You know. Yeah, I, I found that playing this game, the people that I've had as opponents in this game are a higher caliber than any other game. And I think there, there's several reasons. First of all, there's pre-measuring. So when you have these things, well, I'm not sure if he's within, just, you know, measure it together and just say, okay, that guy's on the hill. And, you, you know, just be verbal about what you're doing. Right. The other thing is, is nobody's reaching over a table and being tortured physically over Playing a game, he was pretty tortured. Yeah, uh, he was. I know you didn't take it easy. You see him, but, the anguish on the face. But but, <laughs> and everybody's rolling the same amount of dice. So even though he had some horrible pip die, pip dice. No, no, you only rolled pips. Pip. So even though your pip sucked, yeah, you still were rolling the same amount of dice in combat. Both people right, are involved. Right. It's not like okay, well. Larry, I'm going to go grab some coffee. You let me know when you're done doing your shooting. You, you, the other person needs to be around there also for no, the, the fought, dice exchange. We have fought two historical uh, opponents. Yes. What's that? We have fought two groups of historical opponents. Yeah. Yes. Yes. What if somebody showed up with a Tibetan army? Well, a blade's a blade. A blade's a, a blade. A sealoy's a sealoy. You mean a, a, a Tibetan a army against what army? Well, either one of these, Romans or the Okay, well, it sounds like we need to bring the Tibetan army out here for I them. got them. Okay, bring them out. I got them. <laughs> Which Roman army would you like to use against the Tibetans? <laughs> you you saw, you uh, just happened to mention one of them. Yeah. Which Roman army? Oh, God, uh, the Eastern army. No, no. Which one of these two Roman armies? Oh, right. uh, the other one. The other one? Okay. Well, this one's okay. I'll use this one. Yeah, this one's okay. <laughs> okay, bring out the Tibetans. Bring out the Tibetans. Uh, That's the Polybian uh, Roman versus Book the 3, 15, Tibetans. <laughs> and with the Tibetans, you're going to see two new things. You're going to see not, you're going to see cataphracts. Not only will you see knights, you'll see cataphracts. I know. Uh, and you're also oh, going to so see... I wanted to catify right, bro. You want, you're also going to see dismounting units. Because they have guys that can only dismount. Only if we let him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that going to be uh, Scott? Scott with the Tibetans? I'll play him. Okay. Unless you want to take a run at him. 
No, I'm good. What? I'm running the camera. Lame. <laughs> and they're knights anyways. And everybody everybody knows anything about me. I hate knights. Actually, I don't mind cataphracts so much, but... Cataphracts are disciplined. No, I'm, I'm minding the camera. Mind you. Do they not... Do they not... Besides, I don't want to get my ass kicked by Larry. Do they not pursue at all? They don't no. pursue at all. They no. don't pursue okay. at all. Ever. And sometimes they'll recoil on ties against the other on, against well, fast other knights. Regular knights against regular knights. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to be defeated by Larry. That's kind of embarrassing. Why? <laughs> no, it's not. It's nice and you enjoying it? Yeah. No, this game sucks for the Mongols. Yeah, you yeah. told me. That. It doesn't simulate the Mongols yeah, that, well. Yeah, I, you know that's a problem. That I've seen a lot of game systems. And then other games that simulate the model Mongols well is like Armadi. They, they overpower the everything. Well, that's what I've heard. They're also in uh, Empathus. And Empathus are unbeatable. Are they? Oh, yeah. It's ridiculous. By the time the Teutonic Knights get to them, they're all pin cushioned. What did you say their number was, Tony? 315. 315. They're your army. You should know. Yeah, I know. Why should he, it's his army. Why should he know anything? Yeah. You well, just bought him. It's not like you painted him or anything. It's a, it's a, it's a lot faster than Blood Bowl. Is Blood Bowl slow? Yeah, you would think with just 11 units. <laughs> yeah, but the issue is it's, I move a square, I roll a dice. I move a square, square, I roll a dice. dice. I fall square, down. Square, now I do my next down, one. Yes. So there's a, you're doing everything. It's not like you're... you're well, it's, it's fascinating. You know, the... I played online with the computer, the uh, guys in Australia and, and uh, Netherlands and the UK, and we can do it in an hour. You put it on a damn table, it takes three and a half hours. Well, the good My thing, even greater the good thing about playing an online game is, you know, that that's also a, a board game is, you can't play it wrong. I mean, you can't get the rules wrong. I mean, well, you, you can if it's programmed wrong, improperly. The problem, one problem is the algorithm. Some people uh, know the algorithm, and so they know what the dice will be. So they uh, plan their moves where they use up the dice so they That's can get no what they want. Yeah, that, that, it's called cheating. It's called no fun. It's not like the Astros. The Astros would disagree. No, no, the Astros. The who? See, the yeah, Astros, Astros would disagree, disagree and not call that cheating. Unless you got caught. And if you get well, caught, it's okay. Well, I haven't played baseball all my life and enjoyed it. If a human can see the signs, that's what I think. But when you want a computer shit. Three more knights or three calves? Uh, let's go calf. So, many people have asked me, hey, I'm getting ready to play DBA. What army should I get? What my I first suggestion is... Which always throws people off. What are you? What am I? Yeah, where are you from? I mean, if you're English, I'm Scottish. Then you should probably get one of those armies, unless it's unless it's an army that like really yeah, sucks and like would be very hard and difficult to learn with. But that's usually uh, my first choice. Let's go that way. My next choice would be this army right here. This is a great starter army. It's got some solid core troops. It's a well-known army. It fights oh, the Carthaginians, which everybody's aware of. You know, people know who they are. This is a, a this is a great army. Light to horse, a Saloy, or a three blade. Let's go with light horse. Okay. Oh, they're gonna get run over. See, and my suggestion would be to if there's a certain time period you like, no, I like them all. Then go with that one. Like you know, you're a big Roman fan, so I say take a Roman army and start with it. Roman or Mass. You know, like me, I'm a, I'm a big, I was a big medieval fan, and then I got mm -hmm. into the whole German thing. So I'm like, oh, I'm just going to do the medieval Germans. So, so but you're that. German, so that makes yeah, sense. That's what I, that's yeah, you, you got the two together. So lawyer, Kev. Sea lawyer. And two light horse or two more knights. Two light horse. A little too late. Everybody likes those guys. Well, People tend to like guys that are dressed cool. Of course. You know? Okay, there you go. Wow. That's why the World War II Germans are so popular. Not Killing that everybody's a freaking Nazi. No, they, they just had the uniform. They had cool toys years. and they knew how to dress. Yeah. These can all dismount. They were time. complete they assholes other than that. You know? Yeah. But, okay. What's my uh, aggression and stuff? Uh, Hilly 3. Hilly 3? 
Hilly three. Hilly three versus arable three. I'm a nine. Okay. I mean, your field, right? Yep. <clears throat> yeah. board or small what board? size board would you like to play on, Scott? <laughs> um, 50. We'll leave the big one here. Okay. Okay, so let's take this off. Larry, you get to pick <laughs> terrain again. You can oh, pick the right. same thing and roll for it differently. Or oh, he's got to have that. Are these guys, uh, anytime during the game? Right, anytime during the game, I can't you can't get in front of something. Right, and I can't get back. All right, in. what's up? can't get back in. This one? Are these spears okay. or blades? Spears. Five, your choice. Let's get you guys. I'll move you guys off the board. That's okay. Five, that's my choice. Okay. Da, 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 da. Uh, these are calves. Yep. Right there. there yep. This one? Two. Nope. You got to roll for these first. Uh, two. So that they make sure that they get in play. Two. Yep. So that needs to is go in, in that quarter somewhere. Two okay, you place this one here. Mm -hmm. Did you roll four? Or yes, whatever. You've got it. No, you rolled a five. Which you pick whichever one you want. All right. You you this has to go in one other quarter. Okay. Perfect. Like this over this line, or yep. you want? Okay. Um, so we'll this. do that right there. Okay. Six. He gets to pick the quarter it goes in. This one. Okay. This one. That's funny. You didn't put it over in the corner. <laughs> it's gotta go in this one. Now you, now you do want it in play. There you go. Is it still a road? In road, this one? yeah. Where's a road go? Larry, you should okay. you should have bucked the system, Larry. Not one with a road. Yeah. Okay, so now I got to think about it. He's going to pick which side he picks. Mm -hmm. So if you put it this way, you may pick something. You put it that way, you may pick something else. Yeah, let's go this way. Man, it's an ugly road. It's an ugly one. Yeah. I'm taking this side. Okay. Keep it up. We'll put a tax toll thing on it. And you have to pay. No more taxes. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll get you a nice golden road. Cheat or set up board. Oh, you are here. Oh boy. Okay, battle three, folks. Battle three. This is Larry a clip for it. Polybian Roman versus Tibetans. Yeah. yeah, my favorite song is Tibetan, right? <laughs> it's all this, this this is for you guys. I'm playing with the purple. You're playing with the purple die. Hey, you want to uh go all in and use a, a dice tower too? Sure. Bring me the dice tower. I'll even right. dice tower. Holy cow. Oh, God. Gonna, is it going to work over here? It's we're probably, it's visible here. All right, so we'll yep. do it right there. Everybody Jeez. step back. Channel the town vessel. <laughs> All of a sudden, Luke gets a pinch in his neck right now. <laughs> yeah. He's having a beer right now and not enjoying <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll set my, actually, we're going to set my camp up over here. This is stone camp, right? Or do you want the gold? Speaking of having a beer. Did you leave one here for me? They drank them all. They drank them all. We had yeah. a crap load last night. <laughs> nope. Oh, nope. Found one. A blonde <laughs> ale. My favorite. Oh, man. Mm. Where's your... Here it is. Yeah, right there. Okay, so today's <laughs> game is brought to you by Kanaha. <laughs> blonde ale. Okay. The other blonde. <laughs> last night, last night. What was last night? Star Trek Ascendancy. We got three games in. Well, I got one in. But Wait a second. Three. I thought you were out of town. <laughs> he I was. Did. I got home for the third game. What time did you get home? Playing the third game. Huh? Playing the third No, oh. it, yeah, he he did Ferengi. What time did you guys play till? I got home at three a.m. Oh, good <laughs> lord! Thanks for not letting me know. Yeah, they weren't ready to go when I got here, so I had to wait for them to finish their second game. Oh, this is good. Hmm. A little light on the infantry that style. A little bit. Don't make them dismount. <laughs> yeah, so these guys here and this guy here can dismount into a line of spearmen, each one. Mm -hmm. So I can dismount in a spear if I want. So the catch is you have to they have to do it within the game. 
they have which means they can they have to spend one pip for each guy doing it and they cannot do it in the threat zone they cannot do it inside of the threat zone so if they're in in the threat zone they they can't do it mm -hmm. and they also can't move forward so in other words if they exchange they literally exchange it and the spearman gets put exactly in the, the where the front was of the other unit okay. so it's not huge useful now these guys if they outscore any of your foot by just one you're dead but their base number is a three any of your foot now here's the catch your blades mm -hmm. you're also a three mm -hmm. he's a three if you guys lock in combat and tie you kill him outright okay. but only on a tie <laughs> so you have to see what he rolled no <laughs> So okay, I'll tell you what you need to roll for pips, and that yeah. worked last last game, right? Yeah, yeah it did. Yeah, both you roll one. Okay, that worked really good. But now there'll be a base target Pips. totally out of everybody's. So before we get started, we'll, we'll have um, hip, uh, Scott walk through what each unit is, so you get a good picture of what it is. So. Okay, so first off, we have a C Loy here. We have one, two, three, four. Is he a cataphract as well? Yep. Yes. Five cataphracts. This one is my general. Okay. Cataphracts work just like knights, except they don't follow up on the... the they uh, they, they move flying. three. They're not impetuous. They're just flying. Okay. Um, these are three cavalry, mm -hmm. and then these are three light horse. Okay. So these guys' numbers are they're four against mounted, but they're three against foot. Okay. So... Back to that pip thing again. Back to the pip thing. <laughs> the meat of the game. The meat of the game. Pip management. Hey, no, you still don't know how to grow anything. <laughs> can I do it this way? Sure can. You have to do it one unit at a time. Do I? Yep. Yes. No, that's not much fun. Group movement can only it be really forward isn't. wheel. Forward and wheel for the most part for group movement. Correct. You can wheel this one? Yep. You can wheel yep. the whole line if you wanted to. But you're going to have to move with the speed of the slowest unit. Which is two. Which is two. Right. Now what you would do is, you got to pick where you're going to start the wheel. Like maybe there. There. One, two, three, four. You lined up on the front? Yeah, he should mm -hmm. be. He, he should be. He should be. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. You got a five. Six, there's a six right here. No, okay. something else you can do is okay. spend separate pips and do different wheels. Yeah, what'd you roll for pips? Four. four. Yeah, so you could do... This one's going to move up to two. Okay. I'm not sure what angle you're trying to angle for. Ah. Get it? Okay. No, no, uh, that's uh, that's got to hit his front corner. Yeah. Otherwise, you're moving forward first, and that takes out your movement. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, you could wheel over for one, and then move one straight forward. And then these guys, when they move three, they could certainly catch up to this position. So I'll do it. Two and a half. Okay. So you're gonna wheel forward for one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they're all gonna be here. No, they're gonna straight now. Okay. And then you're gonna move straight. Forward for another one. Okay. okay. That's one. That's, That's one. one. Okay. For your next pip, these guys can move up to three. Mm -hmm. Ooh, might not be able to. Well, you got to still move forward and do the wheel thing if you're going to do a group move. Yeah, so we're going to move wheel. You wheel one, then move two forward. Yeah, you're probably going to need better off moving them individually if you want them here and here. All right, so. Okay. Move one there, move another right, there, and you still have one left one over. Still one left over. Yeah, we collide, though. I don't know. If you're trying to play keep away on this end, you don't want to move any I over here. Any. So I would probably move him maybe somewhere like this. All right. So he's already. That's reasonable. Yep. Okay. This is going to be one of these yin yang battles. Yeah, well. You're going to push here, he's going to push over there. Real, uh, you ready? ready? Yeah. Ten. Oh. Six. See the purple die. Yeah. Maybe the purple die works with the. The purple die the, and the dice tower. And together the dice tower, they cancel each other out. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. That's four. Is this stuff? One, two, three. That's a four as well. We don't have a five. Over here still. Yes. There's five. Okay, so I got six, huh? 
Can a fire axe have bows? What's that? Can a fire axe have bows? Can who? They have bows? Um, they probably do, built into the figure, but the way they fought, it's been deemed that they're not uh, those type of units mm. by the author. Well, why is he not? Well, you know, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> I can't remember. I actually don't have a problem with these rules at all. I just wish they it's were game. organized differently. I'm even fine with the language. Just the organization of them is just uh, it's a real uphill battle. Right. You know, you tried to read the rules, right? I did. Yeah. How'd that work out for you? That's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got to play the game and then be able right. to like, oh, okay. The best thing you can actually do after you, after you have some experience is teach someone how to play... Because then you have to come up with all the right. answers. Can you refu- can you wheel backwards? You cannot wheel backwards. You can can't you even move back? backwards either. In, you, individually, you have to pay pips individually. Uh-huh. Yep. Mm-hmm. Regardless of the troop of the unit type, mm-hmm. could be Saloy or Light Horse. They still have to do them individually. It's early for us, but night night in the UK. Mm-hmm. It's night night over there. So I thought you said Luke was going to make it. No, no. Okay. I thought he'd go to trivia just by himself. He needs to go with other people that know all the answers. Is that what it is? Something like that. Maybe Maybe Megan's pulling them through with all the answers. (laughs) I'm not going to go there. One, two... Three, four, five, six. That was me. Okay. Pip time. I need that uh, dice. Sorry. Three. So let's take a look at what he, what kind of notorious things he did. Oh, well, you multi, you multi pipped, right? Correct. So, so, okay. not, so you cannot be with him. So you're not like. Threat zone! Threat zone! Hmm, how can I This is gonna to be too fast. Is everybody glad to see the purple dice in play now? I guess. <laughs> Either that or they went to sleep. <laughs> the purple you weren't here, but the purple die rolled a six through the through so the uh, contact here. Through the, uh, ah, see. the dice tower. That's two. Mm-hmm. Just dice. so you know, I'm the only one undefeated using the dice tower. <laughs> you can come join me though. It, it can be a club of two. <laughs> club of two. For those of you that don't know, this is a, a dice seen. tower that uh, that Luke won in a tournament, yeah. and ever since he used it, it was just totally cursed him. He's like, I'm not going to use it. <laughs> I did my shoe. <laughs> I mocked yeah. him and used it in a battle and beat him with it. So I, I at that point, promptly said, I'm not going to use it again, because that way I can be undefeated with him. Mocking your <laughs> You're a three. I'm a light horse, too, but I have another light horse behind him. So you went in. Came so that makes me a three. Mm-hmm. However, you go down to a two because I have the overlap on you with the guy on the side there. So I'm a three or two. Why'd you do that, Larry? Six. Where'd you do that? Why not? Okay. Well, you didn't die. So mm-hmm. I got a three to your six, so you have to recoil. Okay, so you get to choose whether to recoil back this depth here, which is 30, or 40. Uh, I'd say what, 40. In this situation, you would go 30 because you need to give yourself extra recoils, and that may make a difference. All right. Okay. 
Why did I do that? To stop me from enveloping the line. Okay. okay. Right. Pip time! Look at that. <laughs> so does that mean it's going to roll like crap in combat? Well, combat? I don't, well, I know. At first combat, I got a five. But they sure know what they're doing. That's true. <laughs> All right. So first move, and these guys will move in for one. Pick. One pip together. This will be You two. don't have a command? No. You... So command and control is normally eight. Light horse is 20. Okay. So not an issue there. These guys are three, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Threes and fours, that's all your army does. <laughs> well, so dismount. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. Ooh. Then what? Then you got to drop Why would twos. You do that? Twos or ones, depending on what kind of terrain you're going through. Yeah. Actually, you might get stuck moving one with the troop types he has right now if he decides to go through that woods. Like, hmm, well, what kind of berries are over there? Ooh. Berries. Dingleberries. Ha <laughs> ha. Tibetan dingleberries. The best. Tasty. Tasty. <laughs> really trying to watch my weight. I can't fit in my robes anymore. <laughs> so for those of you who just join us, we're joining us. This is uh, Polybian Romans versus Tibetans. We got uh, Scott Ludwig is playing the Tibetans and Larry Brasington is playing the Polybian Romans. Mitch and myself are doing the Play by commentary. color commentary. Color commentary. Mm -hmm. and I can't believe that Dice Tower is rolling the purple dice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's some really superstitious people about dice. I'm actually surprised. That's four. Will be a quiet game too. But why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Put in that great Tibetan music. <laughs> and you can also have an opponent that laughs for no reason. You see, <laughs> they keep things better, <laughs> much better. Now you, you got a ways to learn. You got the ways of the Mitch to learn. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's my six. <laughs> right there. Right. Okay. So we got one combat uh, again. I'll be a three to your two down there. Uh oh, there it is. But it was a one to one, so I still win. Wow. There you go. So I have a four to your three. Um, I didn't W, but since I got the door closed, you can't Correct. recoil, so I can get him. So Correct. He's gone. So he's gone. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> he's dead. I'm an astrophysicist, not a He's doctor. dead, Jim. <laughs> yep. He's a goner. One or nothing. No. Two. That's not very good. Into the Valley of Death, part of the Brave 600. We're just going to let you do your thing. You know, you, got, I'm just in how to play the game. Especially if they got coconuts. <laughs> right. Coconuts. Ah, I don't know how these spearmen can survive. See, Larry just figures he could he could lose this game mm -hmm. and still have a winning record. Yes, ah. that's exactly right. Mm-hmm. How's that smart? This guy's not threatened, is he? No. Okay. Lay the wheel. Gonna enter the threat zone there. Okay. And same thing there. So as soon as you enter the threat zone, what happens is you have to move towards the unit that's threatening you. But I can't turn again. Put that orange thing down there. And yeah. Right in. So here's the here's your here's your zone you gotta worry about. Okay. No, so just stay out he of that zone. Wheel, he can wheel where he's at. Let's go here. If you want to do that wheel, you can do that wheel there. You won't get into it. Wow. How do you do this? No, you were right. You were right. Yep. So take this. Mm -hmm. You do that in the front spot. So 
you can wheel to where you're right along that line right there. There you go. Yep, and that, that can go there. Okay. There you go. That's my tune. And if you're playing Samurai Army, you could do that maneuver and then go, shoot! Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, no combat. We're not. No shooting. Oh, we are shot. My pips. Five. It's cool enough. Those are spear, right? Yep. They are. That's a Chirari eye. So they can't Chirari kill your life force. Mm -hmm. Chirari eyes you go. And they can't kill your cab yeah. either. But they'll make you run. Uh, so, remember we were talking about normally if you double a unit, mm -hmm. they get killed. There's some troop types that can't kill others. If you've got, like, blades or spear fighting Saloy, if they could double the Saloy, the Saloy don't get killed they just would flee away same thing with um elephants fighting saloy elephants can't kill the saloy if they if they double them they end up mm -hmm. so what he actually did is he wheeled a little bit where he was at i'm, I'm, moving, as a gets, I'm moving as a column yeah and then you get the free slide to come over okay that's one two three Trying to gobble you up. Yes, he is. And he's going to do it. Four. He hears the Romans are tasty. They're covered in <laughs> olive oil. But we, uh, you know, basically we still got oh, six hundred. Mm. We're batting six sixty-seven. Hmm. We're still batting six sixty-seven. Mm -hmm. You got it all figured out. <laughs> he's a numbers guy. Uh, I, I like be. numbers guys. I, I need to help them numbers guys at the end of an evening on a work night. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. I get klutzy with my math at night. There's my five. All right. All right. Let us start with the light horses. Where are the spears? Okay, so you're normally remember how this guy would give you a bonus? Yeah. Not against mounted. So he's just a four. This guy makes brings him down to a three. Mm -hmm. He's a two. Guy brings him up to a three. So it's three to three. Five. Okay. But I have the door closed. So he dies. Mm -hmm. Now we do this one. Okay. Here you're normally a four. Mm -hmm. Stay a four. Down to a three, down to a two, to his three. Yep. three so that's a six to three. Double, 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 and, and you got outscored yes. anyways. There you go. Okay. And that's it. Your turn. My turn. Okay, so it's three to zero. Man, I'm three to zero. Zero. Maybe this will be the reason why the Romans didn't mess with Tibet. Ah. Wow. Wow. Okay. Can't even get into combat. Sure you can. Run your general up into my Can't cavalry. even get a two. A two would have been okay. If you got a two, you'd have done that and then done some kind of door closure with yeah, that guy. Yeah, there goes the shooting. Bam, there it is. Okay. So I'm a three. I'm a four. And you're, you're a four. four. There you go. Nine. Numbers guy. Versus five, so it drives me back. Okay. How far you want to recoil, Scott? Uh, we'll go 40. Okay. I'm to go 50 inches. 50? Inches? No, uh, base widths maybe. I actually prefer metric for this. Why? I don't like metric volume. It's hard to visualize. But metric for this. But in the construction field, people are so anti-metric. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is the meter is too big a unit. You know, there's this yeah. in. There's, there's too many things that are under three foot that become a huge number when you describe them metrically. And it's not something that big. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so he's going to bring here, mm -hmm. and then he's going to position himself because so he's going to turn with the door closed. Mm -hmm. Boy, you're being a real Mongol with that stuff, man. Ain't I? Yeah. That's my That's movement. Mongol That's crap right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what so, happens at the end of movement? You're going to turn to face. Mm -hmm. 
Larry, I haven't coached you on yet. This is the part where you need to roll really good. A six would be awesome. Okay? That's true. Scott, you roll one. Okay. Six. No, I got it backwards. So you are a spear or a blade with that guy? He's a blade. All right, so you start at three against mounted, but you're going to go down one because I got the flank on. It makes you a two, so you got a seven. I start at two plus one is three, so I got a six. Three is nine, nine is seven. I would usually you would just fall back, but since the door's closed, you can't. I kill. And that's why the Romans never fought mounted to the opponents. There you go. There you go. They got slaughtered. No so what? Right. No what? You shake. Shake. Yeah. 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 Honor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you have it. All righty. So you so dice tower, up. purple dice, yep. purple dice, and the equals dice win. Tower, so yeah, next sure. battle you do, that's the combination you're going to use? Yep. I'm going to do this for the next 20 games, and we'll keep track. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'll keep track for you, okay? 20. Lads, 20. That's it. cool. To, I'm turning into a pumpkin. They won't all be film, folks, so uh, you'll have to just and trust us. Good. Yes, you'll have to trust so, us. Now he's got yep. 20 more games. No, I like it. <laughs> I'm I like it. Challenge to yourself. Pumpkin, but, uh, it's not like I you're going to be pumpkin. fighting Luke over it. Yeah. It's not like Luke's like, oh, I want to be the one using it. That would give you a dollar for the dice tower. Did you watch the the <laughs> game that we filmed the other day where 90% of the way through the game, I told Mitch, hey, why don't we switch dice? His was rolling terrible. Yeah. So we switched dice. And so we did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could have, you know, it could have been a disaster the other Great way. Great night. I'll That's come, it? I'll come back, yeah. You're done? I'm done. Okay. So that was, uh, I folks. To, I need to go to work tomorrow. So. You do? Okay. So yeah, well, Monday that's night. what's great about this game. Look, you came in, and you got three games done. It's still nine o'clock at night. Thank you, man. Yes, yes, I'm glad you can make. You know it. where to find us. I do. Where I'm going, sir. All I have to do is put it. <clears throat> Never mind. <laughs> do I need to talk to your wife for you? Huh? Do I need to talk to your wife for you? About what? About making sure you come every Monday. No. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, y'all have a good night. That'll Thank work. you, Larry. Thanks for All coming right. by. You're welcome. Go get them. Obviously, we need a dice tower and purple dice. <laughs> there you go. That's the combination. That's what works. Ah. Yes. All right. <laughs> Woohoo! It's nice and nice and warm out here. Yeah. Well, I still got a game in me. I haven't played yet. <laughs> You still good for a game, Scott? Um, well, let's see if Nate wants to play. If not, then I'll play one. Okay. I don't care. I don't think anybody's watching, but you know it is recorded, so we can come back and uh, and do that later. So. so yeah, since I got two in already, let's see if Nate wants. It. If not, then I'll play one before I go. Before you go, I've got to show you a video. Okay. It's G, folks. So you're not. It's rated G. You're not. You're not missing out on anything. So. Um, it is something super cool I found on the internet today that um, if my videos looked half as good as that that stuff is it's one of the best things I've ever seen on the on the internet honestly these guys that do um, they do die cast they do match they do matchbox die cast car racing but they treat it just like real racing it's hilarious. <laughs> You'll appreciate it. They do like commentary on it? Yeah, yeah. No, it's really, Come really good. Corner, it's really, 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 really good. So, so. 21 to play with Mitch, you want him? We got two games, man, and we're up to 800. Why don't, you, why don't you play him one? All right. I don't know what you want to do. Folks, what should I do? Oh, you guys don't know because you're not fa- you're not, you're not awake yet. You guys are falling asleep probably. Uh, what do you want to do, Mitch? You know I don't care. Uh... I don't know. Got me off guard. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's do a couple. Let's do a warband fight. Um, let's let's know. do Gauls versus Germans. You want to do that? If you dumb down the Gauls enough that the dumb down, that's not hard. <laughs> well, you know, you got to dumb them down to the German level. I didn't know it was Larry you were bringing over tonight. What's that? I didn't know it was Larry you were bringing over tonight. Yeah, he's been wanting to come over for a while, and uh, you, do you know. So I've been I've been playing I've been playing I've been playing war games with him on Sundays. I've met for him like the last month and a half. He yeah. said he played with you guys before one time or something like that. I met him for the first time probably around 1990-89. I think I may have only played one game with him ever though, just because of um, 
just the timing of stuff. You know, I'm not opposed to playing board games. I'm just after learning how to play this game, man, I can't be front I can't be point on any more rules. Because I'm just burned out. <laughs> you know, I mean I I don't mind playing all the other stuff that we do play. It's just you guys have to be you gotta be the you know, you like rules. I'm just I wanna have a good time and crack jokes. You know, so um I did like that that last Star Trek game though. That was really cool. It's a good game. It is a good game. It is a good game. It's just difficult the way the economy is right now and how busy we are to get here at a certain time. Oh, yeah, no, I got you. You know, but I'm all for doing it, so. Um, and that's for you guys watching. That's Star Trek Ascendancy. It's a really cool multiplayer board game. Extremely cool. Yep, extremely cool. So, Wait, these guys? And you don't have to be a Star Trek fan. Yeah, so I've only seen three episodes of Star Trek and I still enjoy it. I will be. I am gonna be buying into Star Wars Legions here pretty soon. That the one you have to paint? Yeah, which is the and it's the twenty eight mil tabletop figure one. You gonna paint? Uh -huh. Okay. I mean, so, I know you know how to paint. So when I get that stuff, when I get sure. that stuff ready, I'll bring it over and I'll show you guys how to play the game. Sure. You've played the game? Yeah, I like it. Okay. Yeah, that uh, you sent me a link on that one that's the superheroes. Uh, is it the Crisis Protocol? That's the one, but they're not even 28 millimeter. They're no, some they're bigger, weird they're scale, bigger, right? They're bigger than 28 mil. No. I was just saying. I was just saying. If you bought the rule set, you could play the game with all the stuff that Luke has. I've got some too. You could. You could. You know what I mean? Or I got probably you, you, 40 you figures. Could, you could use Hero Clicks with that rule set, right? And because it's by square, anyways, right? It's, you move by square. They got measuring. They have actual measuring sticks that do distance yeah. based on those figures. And it, you know, if you were worried about changing the actual scale via what the scale is, you could, or you can just keep the same movement sticks. But like if you have, you know, if you have a bunch of Hero Click stuff that you know you have the Captain America, the Hulk, that kind of thing. You could play it with. You could play it with that. You know, we've got this set of rules to play in tournaments with other people. The other games that we play, as long as we all agree on what we're going to play, we can just play amongst ourselves. It's not like we're going to be tournament players for anything. So, um, oh, let's get God. let's get rid of these guys. Is there another pop or anything in there? Yeah. Very good. Let's, oh. <laughs> what you got the, the drippings? Got the on, you got the drippings on the Starbucks. What do you I got want? the grounds. Just a grape crush, or crush. The orange man. The orange. <laughs> oh, okay, man. Nice professor. You know, I drink a fair amount of Starbucks, but I'll be honest with you, their coffee tastes like crap. But that's a lot. That's a lot bitterer than I'm than I'm used to. But it wakes the dead, which is why I get it. It's necromancer blend. I didn't expect it to be that to be that uh, strong. It, yeah, it's definitely, definitely a, uh, a much uh, more. So you're looking uh, for the the, the patch up from them. You want your pink dice, Tony? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm all but about that. Do you need that. your movers, or you want to? Yeah, I'll use. There? I can use the movers that are here. Is that the one? I'll even use the dice tower. I don't see. I ain't scared of using no dice no, tower. I'm, using the dice I'm tower mocking you, boy. Dice. You're not going to use it? <laughs> no, with the purple dice, I'm using it. <laughs> oh, you are? Oh, so we're both going to use the dice tower. Uh, well, that works, too. I have a purple dice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that works, too. We're going to move this and this <coughs> well, we'll adjust it. See, like on Sundays with Larry, we played Saga. We okay. did SPQR. We've been doing the Conan Dungeon Crawl game lately. We did... Um, so we need new rooms? He's got troops for all that. Yeah, we did. Uh, we did the, one of the uh, Napoleonic era sail games. The one that's got the ships on a tabletop. And you use a card to move them. Okay. Yeah, Sails remember. of Glory or yeah, something like that. Yeah, we did that okay. one. Okay. Um, I've had him play. Uh, I've had him. He uh, played a couple. Uh, he played Andy and Abyss with us a couple times. The coin game I showed you guys from GMT. And then we did. Uh, We've done uh, the Napoleons or the Command and Colors Napoleonics a couple times. Yeah, we really need to pull that out there, Mitch. The problem is this is only a two-player game. You can do multiple if you go with the big battle. Yeah, it's definitely... It's definitely but it can be a little weight around, because if you go with the big battle, you can have each person take like a, a middle or a flank. But then if you're not playing a card in that turn, you're just sitting there. Yeah, we did that at a convention one time, the first time I ever played it. And uh, yeah, there's some sitting out, sitting around with that. What are you pulling Ready? out? Is that that Roman? Is no, 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 no. no. Germans and 
Germans and uh, oh, Germans on Germans. Ger Germans against uh, against Gauls. Barbar a barbarian fight. Barbarian uh -huh. against barbarian fight. Aha, uh -huh. okay, I got you. I you got, got your rule book here? I'll pull it out what it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> we'll make it balanced and uh, is is there a way to make the Gauls have any less mounted than that? Or they that's that's what they're limited to. Or they have that. They need to have less mounted. So that they're uh, they're evenly here. Cause you know how war band are against mounted. Oh. Not worth a damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna fight him. You fight him. <laughs> so let's give the Gauls a war band general. They can have that. That dumbs them down one. <laughs> that's it. That's sadistical. You could make the. You can make the you can give the wall the the Gauls a, a fast warband general and the rest of the warbands are solid. <laughs> uh, no, you can you can give them even more even more warband. Okay, so let's uh, let's move to the Germans, okay? Because you can actually make the give the Gauls a lot less a lot less uh, cavalry and even up a little bit. So let's who are the Germans that they fight? They fight A, B, and E. Okay. He's a good army. Kimbri, Ariovistus, and Marco Mani. Mani, right? They got two blades, don't they? Let's do the Marco Mani. Yeah. Wait, but that doesn't make sense because this is one of the errors in the book. The Marco Mani army is 9 BC to 19 AD, and supposedly on book 211. They are an enemy, but the Gallics are Gauls already conquered by then. So regardless if that's really an enemy, they're really not. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I mean, you know. Reality trumps uh, you know. Let's do Ariovistus. Let's do Ariovistus. Ariovistus is a war uh you got the Germans there? Yep. Okay, he's a solid warband general. Yep. Two cavalry. <clears throat> yep. You could take some of them. Okay. Uh, an eight solid warband. Uh -huh. And one saloid. Aggression four forest. Okay, and the Gauls, it's time to dumb them down some. Okay. Give them a warband general. Uh -huh. And they can have the two cavalry or more warband. I think give them the two cavalry. Uh -huh. Leave it like that. Two They're the same army. Huh? Yeah. So he's got a sea lord. You got a sea lord? Yeah, this is the same freaking yeah. army. So mirror match. Hell with it. Let's roll with it. Okay. You okay with that? Yeah, let's see what they do. But I'm the Germans. You're the Germans? <laughs> well, you're, why? What difference does it make? Because I'm the Germans. Germans are better, you're German? Germans are better than Gauls. <laughs> Germans smell worse. That's right. <laughs> well, as long as we, we all we both agree. <clears throat> there you go. Okay, so uh, you're aggression for Forest, and uh, the Gauls, the good guys, huh. uh, are aggression zero because it says until 225 BC, this would take place at 58 BC. So. Ariovistus is a guy that was there on the border, and uh, Julius Caesar screwed with him. But uh, the Gauls didn't like him standing there behind him. So I'm an aggression zero. Okay, we're both using the dice tower. Oh, let's see. Let me make sure we got somewhere where we can see the whole thing. Hold on. I'm a what seven. You You're a seven. Your house. My house. Okay, arable. I rolled a one. What I'm size board do you smaller want? Smaller board. Yeah, there you go. That's that's better because we got more breathing room there. Yeah. Scott, you want to give us one? Maybe the one that looks really forested, like the happy green one. Where did the... the one that's hand painted by some idiot. Is this okay? You want Is to... that that's a big board? No, that's a small one. Oh yeah, that one. That one's fine. One. Yeah, that one's fine. Yep. Yep, that's good. Okay. All right. I brought my terrains. By God, we're going to use it. Ta da! All right. I'm arable. So, we're going to use a BUA. Do you have a road? 
I got my sexy road. There it is. Because yep. if you're Tony, you have to have a road. You, you have, have to have a road. road. <laughs> Almost always. <laughs> road to nowhere. Okay. Okay. Out of VUA. Are those six mil houses? They are six mil houses. That's what I was thinking about doing for a village myself. Yeah, they're six, six mil or even. I thought about even going with ten mil. And just that would work too. Not a, not I wouldn't do fifteens. No. Because then you're stuck with like two buildings, and yeah. that just doesn't have the right. I thought about even doing ten mils just for like a smaller area. If you wanted. To hey, careful what sites you're surfing on. It's on the yeah. internet there. I'll make sure you don't go to. Show them that. Don't go to those sites you normally go to. Yeah. Okay, so a BUA, um, a road. Yeah. Yep. Uh, where's the, where's the, where's the thing where I can set, I set up with, set up cards. Yeah, because you've got the, okay, there's the BUA, uh, a road, um, enclosures. Where's your sexy enclosures I made for In you? The small ones. Here they are. That one. Man, those things are sexy. Woo! Yeah, baby. I may lose, but it'll be a good-looking board. <laughs> okay. First thing, the boa. So and this is going to be a hamlet. hamlet. It's going to be a hamlet. Does that provide any... It doesn't provide any defense, right? It just makes it... It's basically a field that blocks line of sight. That's right, yeah. So, which is strange that you could move holding hands through it. But I didn't write the rules, folks. What are you doing? Okay. She's nervous. Five, my choice. Okay. You gotta keep it off the board, don't you? What's that? You gotta keep the hammer no, off the board. Nope. Be, it can be, be all the way up the B way can be all the way up in the edge. Um, enclosure two. Now we want it kind of close to where these guys live. What? No, I'm not here to win. I'm here to no, be girl, logical. Okay. Six, Six, your choice. What quarter would you like it in? This one. This one? Yeah. The area. We gotta be right next to it. <laughs> Make sure you got that base with. We good. There. So if I get the road through here, I'll put it between them. Ooh. There you go. My pick. What do you want it? Let's see. Road right there. Let's go through. Let's go. Hey, it looks good. Yeah. Well, you defend the people. Oh, Rachel. You don't like the people? <laughs> you defend them, how oh, <laughs> Spoken like a true rapist. <laughs> ah, here comes the Germans. All right. <laughs> you defend them, how oh, rape them. It's one of the better ones I've heard. Right <laughs> oh, you tax them, I'll rape them. Yeah, there you go. Okay. These my guys? I can't even tell. Oh, they Perfumey. <laughs> they smell good. Okay, so we're yeah, going to set up the whole right? forest here. Come on. <laughs> okay, the picture's breaking up. I'm not sure. We didn't really do anything different. What are you doing awake? You're in the UK, Les. Maybe you don't have your, to work. Maybe he maybe works the, nice. Maybe the picture's not breaking up, but your eyes are breaking up. There you go. <laughs> maybe he's watching this in the pub. Yeah. <laughs> what round are you on? <laughs> okay, so all right, we've got this is book two, eleven Gauls versus Ariovistus. Okay, what's your name again? Ariovistus. There you go. <laughs> or at least that's what the Romans called him. Yeah. His name might have actually been Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> A is okay. for I. <laughs> exactly. Starts with an A. That's right. You got a, there's a camp over there if you want on that board there. Or is Tony using that one? Yeah, he's using that one. Yeah, I'm using Where's one? yours? I got, I'll, uh, Don't become a boot. Should I bring the circus? Here. 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 Oh, I guess I got to put our camp down. How about the camp goes here? Well, mine will go here then. Okay. All right, we're going to set up one of these guys is the general, right? Yeah, the guy, uh, this guy right here. Hey, I can give you the, I can give you the, the Tibetan or the Chinese temple over here if you want, Mitch. Ah, I'm good. He's good. He's, he's, he's got some conquered Roman statue. I got something falling apart. 
they built some stupid thing to their gods on our territory and then we knocked it down but that's where we live <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh man let's see here let's go like this okay all I war band small ones like this this general is elusive yeah, luke, what did you get this it? guy at? luke got it yeah, and gave it Oh, I should oh, probably put him. my dice in. That's him. Yeah, I didn't know, but where'd you get it? I mean, I didn't know they did. Liquor store? Yeah, like one of those 99 cent like bottle ones or something? Yeah, like $4 or whatever. Well, $4, yeah. 99 yeah, cents. that's a Crown Royal bag, by the way. Um, actually, I don't think it's worth drinking. Crown Royal is a little too sweet, but the bags are cool. <laughs> <laughs> hold my dice. Okay, every, every gamer agrees with you. <laughs> where, where is the, where's the general again? He's a warband dude. Yeah, it's like impossible to figure out where he is. You want a, you want a little red uh, nubby yeah. thing to put on his spear? I'm gonna put him here. I know who you he got is. a piece of tape. I know who he is. I'll give you a red nubby thing put on his spear. I'll yeah, tell you, you got a nubby. Yeah, I get you a nubby. Yep, yeah, yeah. that'll work. You need a nubby, Mitch? No, I'm good. My guy has say, a sword. Not a nubby, a dingle. See, my guy has the only sword in the army. <laughs> Everybody else has got spears. He's got a sword. He's a sword swallower? What? Yep, exactly. Don't go outside your area. I'm not done yet. I'm just <laughs> testing you. I couldn't give you red. I had to give you that color. Oh, he's blue. Oh. Oh. Kicked him right where he turned blue. Drop it on the spear. <laughs> right on the turban. Okay. Ha. That's what we're going to go there that's what you're going to do, huh? That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Okay, so we got all solid war bands here. Uh -huh. Saloy and two cavalry. Wow. All right. It's Mitch. not wow. It's the same army you have. I said, Mitch, what do you have? I should do just the opposite direction. You should. You mirror it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> then you guys can just do the circle ha. dance. <laughs> Yin yang, baby. Ha ha. Ha ha. That's my general. That dude? Yep. So we go with the sword. Makes everybody else blush. We can talk about the figures in the other battle. Uh oh. Who painted these guys for you? Uh, is these it? are all Joel Clipping. Okay, so he's the guy coming down here, right? Yeah, a couple okay. more years. He'll be retired down here, years. another gamer. He's the guy playing <clears throat> that's Peyton Napoleonics or yep. whatever? Peyton, okay. uh, the DBA Napoleonics. DBN. Yeah, DBN, yeah. That. Good, he can learn the rules. Yep. He's, he's, I got the rules at all. Yeah, he's... he's Me too, but... <clears throat> okay. Okay. Ta da! Bum bum bum! Roll away. Said, did they make a new set of rules or is it still the old set of rules? It's, I think it's 2.1 is the latest version. I got like the set of rules from like 15 years ago that, that we played. And those are it's every bit of 10 years old for sure. No, those, are, those aren't that much different. Yeah. I didn't, like the, I didn't like the rules for the cannons in that game, but everything else I was okay with. Well, we won't give you any cannons. <laughs> Every army pretty much comes with cannons. <laughs> Okay, Pips. Hey, the enclosure stay. Okay, it's a four. Oh my god, I didn't use it in there. Oh, uh, whatever. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh, you want me to re roll, re -roll it? Re-roll, re-roll, re-roll. <laughs> you want me to re-roll it? I say you must. You said you're going to use a dice tower. If it's not in the dice tower, don't count. Uh, no, re -roll Five. Again. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we need to do it differently because I couldn't see what it was. So there we go. Does this still come up? Yeah. yeah. It's Okay, so that's a five. Okay, you gave me an extra pip. You know what? Because that's going to make such a difference. Yep. Okay, so we're going to move these clowns. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. That's right. Okay. Those guys are going to move one. Two, three. Beep, beep, beep. 
I think the nice like the first Four. time I played DBA in like six months. That six long? or seven months. Yeah. What's yeah. that? I haven't played DBA since that last uh, I know you guys have been playing last, Star Trek, man. Since the last convention you guys had down in uh, oh, no, You no. gotta use the dice tower properly. There it goes. Same number. I can't mm-hmm. that was done. What? You gonna do missile fire? <laughs> I might. It'd be really ineffective oh, though. Yeah. Dope. Yeah, we haven't played since. Uh, I haven't played. It's been at least. No, it's in the lull period here right now between. Uh, oh, when was between the last convention in Orlando? What month? September. September. It's been at least since last September that I played. Yeah, since September. September yeah, I October, believe November, it. December. Yeah, it's about four months. About four months since we played. I believe it. I only played six games between the end of the year and September. Six or four, something like that. Three of them were filmed. But yes, I have played Star Trek Ascendancy about 35 times yep. in that time period. <laughs> you need to, to remember how to play that one. So, Like I said, next time we play, I'd like to play the Federation again. Oh, just yeah. to keep the same thing going. Learn, learn one before yeah. you. That's like the last couple of times I've been playing, I've been trying to play like the same one three or four times in a row. Just to make sure if I'm missing something. They're, they're probably all cool except the Ferengi. Mm. I love the Ferengi. Yeah, he does. That's just like a mind screw, you know? Okay. Okay? Pips? Missile fire. Sorry. Three. Well, I see you over there. You sure you see me? Yep. One. Two. I try to keep it really vanilla against Larry that first game. With my setup and movement. I was I wasn't trying sure. to I wasn't trying to do I know. Screw the hell out of him. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't I only keep tra- stats for myself though. I don't keep them for you, so it's okay. I just like it's like, I can run around and try to do all this funky stuff. I'm like going, that's not yeah. going to accomplish anything. He just needs right. to learn to play the game. So right. it's like, I'm just going to march stuff forward and here you go, fight it. That's like I didn't close the door when I could have that one time. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'll just. <laughs> Little word. Okay. Yeah. So this is, uh, that's that's my that's my pips. All right. Okay. Can you do your pink dice on my way? Roll the one. Ah. You don't listen. Purple dice is back. Dice in the dice tower. Yeah. Works. We haven't won a game with it yet, so. Oh, it's coming now. Is it? It's coming now. Alright. One. You like football, Tony? Hmm? You like football? No. Okay. No. Now. With that said, what? growing up in this town, everyone's a football fan except me. But nobody likes to play Madden, and I do. So, if it's video games, absolutely. No, I don't. I don't get any enjoyment out of just watching. Now, if I, you know, participating and making the calls and stuff, sure. But no, not really. Now, when I moved out, I didn't have cable, so I watched Monday Night Football for. That was my entertainment mm-hmm. in the early 90s. And it's educational. So. Yeah, I found this. Uh, but no, because I don't get, I don't, I don't have an attachment to any particular team nor, you know. I found a channel on YouTube called the NFL. But they like, they've, uh, they take, they even do the college games, the people that do this. But they take the game and condense it down to like a, a 15, 16 minute like highlight reel. Okay. That they just show the TV play. Right. So you basically see the game. Right. They show the excitement stuff. Well, they show all the scoring and the important plays, but it's, right. like, it's like 15 to 20 minutes each time. So it's like, right. when I can't see the game, I watch that, and I feel like I watched the whole freaking game. Sure. Sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, I tend to not like sports because I don't like sports fans because they remind me of gamers that cheat. 
like, oh, that was a bad call. Yeah, well, if you're on the other side, you just said the same thing. Dude, be honorable. Whatever, you know, you don't have any skin in the game anyways. You know, you're just sitting there watching. So, anyhow, um, enough of that. Um, shooting? Yep. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> Pips? Three. <clears throat> This is just going to be a slugfest, isn't it? Are you sure? One. Still one. Still one. Still one. Still one. Now, I'm not going to move this guy up one. Oh. Okay. But I roll three. I'm going to move these guys shy a little bit. Oh, that's taking back a move. Mm -hmm. Move them back shy a little bit. Got you scared, do I? Nope. No, nope, about... because what I'm going to do is with my remaining two pips, I want this guy close enough. I may not be, I might not, oh, he can always move two in bad going. By himself. These guys have been able to move faster and didn't realize it. They can move two in bad going, not one. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then what I'm going to do with my other two is, this guy's going to go here, and this guy's going to go here. Uh -huh. Okay. That's it? That's it, yeah. Because I, I don't get a bonus for being in... If I'm back here in this terrain, I don't, I don't get the front end <clears throat> plus one. Okay. You're up. Are you not going to use a dice tower? Uh. Got to re-roll it. Oh, okay. Probably a bad combination of hard rock and a dice tower. Oh. There you go. That cost you one. Okay. Got to be consistent, folks. So uh, they're, not, <laughs> they're not totally lined up, are they? What do you mean? Oops. No, these guys are farther than this. Okay. That's go hit them. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. Don't be a wuss. I'm thinking about it. Get that four on four and six on six. No, I'm thinking about it. There's one. It's just a matter of uh, if you think you're going to be able to outroll me tonight. And you're using your dice tower and that two. and that purple die that you're so madly in love with. <laughs> Ta-da. Okay. Well, we're going to start with my leader. My four to your three. Okay. What'd you roll? Four? Ah, get out of here. Push him back. Bam. All right, then we'll go with... Uh, How'd that work out for you? My three to your four. I thought this was your dice tower. Oh. Oh. Okay, so if it rolls out of the pond, does yeah, it count? Yeah, you got to come okay. back. Get out of here! Push him back. Maybe we're just trying to suck you up. Lord. You're sucking all right. Then we'll go with the three to three uh, mounted on the outside. On the outside? Yep. Okay. God. Got two. a two? Get out of here! Well, everybody's recalling together, so it's and, not really uh, a big problem. Now I'm a one to your three. Three total? Get out of here. You're dead. That guy's dead. Come on, purple dice. Nobody's rooting for you. Purple dice. That it's it? your turn. Roll one. Make Pips? It. Nah. Oh, no fun. Well, now I've got choices to make. That's your general, right? Yep. Ooh. Go ahead. Shut the door. No, nah, not happens. necessarily. You know you're scared. They just even up. They usually get mad. They kill the guy in front of them then. You're a group, so if <clears> I <throat> move forward, the whole line's going to go that way. Okay, well, I certainly can spare it. I'm going to move this entire group forward, and they're all going to slide this way. I think that's going to help you. Well, it's not going to hurt me. Not yet, anyways. Okay. That's definitely one. Well, we got plenty of pips then. And the question is, do we close the door here on the general? Or do we close the door on the cab? I closed the door on the cab. I had an advantage of one to get one kill. Here, I'm even up to get the general killed. Decisions. 
I knew it. Yes. Go for the trap. It could. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go forward there, though. Don't okay. Worry. We'll be there momentarily. All right. Combats. We always do this last. <laughs> and we're going to continue to do it last. Ugh. No, we're not. We're doing it now. I'm a four. I'm a three. And I am two. And you're also a three because you're down one. Three, three. After you. No, no. After you. I haven't been falling for that and I've been rolling crappy. <laughs> the purple. See, no! oh! Oh, see what happened? Oh! No! A tide. Lock. I made you suck. God. <laughs> man, oh man. All right. Now the less important things. Here. Three up to a four, and you're three up to a four. So it's four to four. Yep. All right. Uh -oh. Here we go. Roll on. on. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You said the Folks, you ain't seen nothing yet. It worked for me. It's you the hardball curse. It's the hardball curse. Wow. Hey, are you yeah, sure you want me to continue going first? Yeah. yeah okay. Because uh, that way, at least I know. The attacker survive. should go first. The attacker <laughs> yeah. should go first. Oh, of course, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attacker should always roll first. No, Here. Yeah. Three. Yep. Up to a four. Yep. General, five. Yep. You're a three. Yep. Up to a four. Down to a three. Down to a three. So five to three. Yep. Should I go first? Oh, yeah. Go! There we go. It helps if you scream. Ha! Yeah, it does. Yeah. You won that one. No, no, we, no we tied. Difference of two. Tied. They stay locked. Wow. Well, that was exciting and not, not. at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> did we fight this one? We did. We tied? We tied. Yeah. So tying everything. We both rolled ones in both of those That's combats. Right. That's right. Well, let's see what pips are. Roll right? one. So you guys should play DBA with us because we have fun even when we just ah. lock. Wow. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh. I just give up. No. <laughs> we will not do that. Oh, yeah. So I mean, the whole group moves up one. She is for okay. charge. There's going to be a lot of death. Just, well, no, there one might not be. A lot another. of die rolling. But. All right. What are we going first, dude? My leader, three to three. Where, here? Was your roll one? <laughs> well, I can roll a one, too. Yeah, well, let's see it. I can roll a one. Let's see it. Why was this thing do that? Yeah! <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. I don't know about you. I kind of like using this dice tower. Yeah. It makes it kind of exciting. As limp as they are. <laughs> yeah, look at that. All right. Oh, no, a non event. Four to four here. Can I roll a one again? Nope. Three. Okay. Moving up. Doesn't count. There push, you go. Push on. Somebody's out. Somebody's going to watch us and their head's going to explode. Yeah, exactly. Especially I can't believe the die rolls. Dude, we've seen it all. I'm not surprised. Uh, let's go with uh, this Wait. guy here. Three to three. Oh, the war band, the, the yeah. war band here. War band and war band. Three to three. Ah, I got six. Uh-oh. I better get with the program. Yep. Push it. I recoil here. Jeez, who made this stupid huh? enclosure that's all dilapidated? Next, dilapidated next, next war band. This one? You're a three, I'm a two? Oh, jeez. Wow. This thing rolls like shit in here. <laughs> just, just saying. Just saying. It's a lot of ones, right? It is uh, a lot of ones. And he follows. He does. Mm -hmm. Next. Three, two here again? No. Two, one. Oh, yeah. You do, you do give me a one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I roll one? Need a six for a lock. Ah, uh, push it. Four to, yeah. four to seven. Yeah, so I go here I'm a little bit farther. Okay. Um. Okay. Three. Three two. two. Okay. Need a five for a lock. 
No, I beat you. Push me back. That makes no sense. You go for it. Okay, so no overlap on this guy. Okay. All right, I'll do four to your five. Okay, on um, here. Okay, so four for a lock. Wow. Lock. Okay. Uh, my two to your three. Push oh, you. you won that one. It makes no sense. Wow. You win the ones you should lose, you'll lose the ones that should win. Same thing <clears> with me. Okay, so we got corner to corner with these two guys Everything's right there. Everything's gone, right? Yeah, because yeah. we did that one. Yep. Everything's done. Pips? Wow. Crazy. <laughs> what the hell for now? I can't do anything. Wow. Okay, so we're going to move here. Yep. So I have an overlap. Yep. And then what are you going to do with five pips? I would burn the rest of them. I mean, yeah, I could move yeah, him. Push but... pull. You should buy the other round of combat with that door closed. <laughs> yeah, I could. Crazy. Wow. And that was hey, a he one. went first to roll the one. Yeah, one, one. Crazy. But now he's got a flank. So now you dropped another one. Ooh. That doesn't mean anything. Ooh. We've seen it all. So that's it. We're going to burn four of them. All right. What are I don't know where to spend them on. I could push them forward, but nah. No need to do that. Okay. We've been doing this guy first, haven't we? Yes. Yep, and we'll is. continue to do right. so. Go. I'm a three down none. Yep, yep. You're a four, four down, uh, down to three, down to two. Yep, yep. Oh, oh you're toast oh, now. Bummer. Bummer. Uh, you are toast. And he advances 20. Yep. Okay. Because there's nobody in front of him. Yep. Okay. No worries. Let's go here where I have an advantage of one. I am a three up to a four, and you're a three up to a four down to a three. So I'm a four, you're a three. Yep. Ooh. Five, two, eight. eight. So I push back here, <clears throat> and you come forward like so. Okay. Let's go. Um, Hmm. If I win here, I'll push you back and get a minus on this guy. Let's do this one first, because if I lose, assuming I don't get killed, I'll get I'll give you each one of these two guys an overlap. Three three. Three three. Oh, so now you're gonna go first? Oh, you're there. Hope that's not a song. It is. Thank you. Uh... Okay. Now we can do this one. I'm a three. Yep. You're also a three, down to a two, down to a one. Yep. Three to one. Uh -oh. Can't do any better than that. Uh -huh. You lived. I live. You live. I told you not to hurt him. You live. Okay. Um, that was this one. Here, I have an overlap of one. So I'm a three and you're a two. Dead. Oh, dead. And then here, I have double overlap. I'm a three and you're a one. Yep. Dead. dead. Is that it? That's it, dude. That was all of them? That's it. Oh, my. That's a 4G to zero. Yep. Purple dice. So you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna continue using the dice tower? Nope. <laughs> Once I stop tying you, I rolled like a fiend. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Wow. A shove match. Yep, a shove match. No, Warband are a lot of fun, but not in an open tournament. Yeah. No, no, no. Not no. in an open tournament, so. Not so much. Well, the big difference was I got the I got a kill on that guy. <clears throat> yeah. That opened up the hole. Yep. Well, it could have just as easily happened to me. Yeah. And then I'd be in the same boat. Yeah. But we wouldn't be able to tie as easy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, folks. I think that's a, that's all for the uh, DBA. We've done uh, what is that? Four games. Four games. Okay, so um, we'll probably do this again at a later date. So. Um, but hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something new. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to put them on there. 
and um, we'll catch you guys next time. If I play next time, I promise you Rivers and BUAs. <laughs> there was a BUA. Yeah, uh, Rivers and BUAs. Oh, so, in, and BUAs? Okay. All right, folks. Until next time, we will see you. And that was all the questions there? Yeah. And they all came Sausage from, fingers. They all came from England. English. Questions. Those British people just need to learn how to play the game. But, right. <laughs> Why are I can't, purple dice? I can't turn off. It's not as simple as stop. You've got, I'm like, okay, in the app, and there's.